Galta. Yeah. Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you, man. <laughs> Dude, are we going to do this? Yeah. Thank you for bringing beers. Cheers, man. Ah, oh, let's fucking go. I feel like I'm going to say man a lot today. <laughs> yeah, man. Because you're a man, man. You're going to say man a With lot, the man dude. jacket. <laughs> you know what? I had to wear this jacket. Yeah. Because one of the things that I definitely love about the, your outfit was the snakeskin boots. Yeah. And I was like, if Galt is going to wear snakeskin boots, I'm wearing leather. I wear them every day now. You have yeah. to. You have yeah. to. They're so pimping. Uh, especially if they're like from some kind of like exotic dangerous like you don't want like snakeskin boots from some fucking friendly house snake you, know what I mean? <laughs> no. you want it to be like it's some hoggorn boots <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah 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 it's that would be cool though right Hogan boots it's yeah. like walking every Self time made yeah dude. <laughs> ice cold <Yeah. laughs> that's good but i did uh truck over uh, what do you call that in english uh the i don't know just like step over yeah in these today and people saw me and just like who did the shoes and i uh, don't wear those high heels. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, can you show us the boots? Yeah, of course. Dude, we got a camera on you. Let's have a look at these motherfuckers. Oh, oh nice. Pretty. Dude, I love them. I love them. Well, I pet them all the time. Yeah, like dude. In the in the in the in the train and stuff, I just sit like this. So just start like lisping. Sorry, slippery. Oh man. Uh, yeah, dude. Well, how the fuck are you lately? You been good? I'm been good. Yes. I've, yeah, pretty good. You've been busy. I've been busy. I've doing a lot of stand up. Uh, yes, in October. Yeah, I seen much like, more than before. At least uh, not too much, but yeah, because you're you're hosting and you're doing your yeah. show at New York. What did I, I heard Snorder called it MC. Is that what it called in, in English? Yeah, dude, MC. Yeah. MC McDonald's MC. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I, it stands I, for? Yeah. No, M Master of Ceremonies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I uh, think Mike uh, microphone. Mike checker. <laughs> Mike checker. Yeah, yeah. Mike check, <laughs> yeah, Mike check, I'm MC. the Mike checker. MC square. Yeah. It's a. It's an Einstein concept. Yeah. It's. It's all based on relativity. Mm -hmm. So mm. you've been uh, killing the stand-up game. Enjoying yeah, it. Yeah. Trying to. Doing a lot of MC yeah, and uh, also a lot of sets. Not a lot of sets, but I've been doing like nine this October. And yeah. That's pretty yeah, much yeah. to be me. Yeah. That's good. Because I was before I was like. Maybe once every other week. Yeah. And uh, I was watching a lot of stand-up, though. I love uh, going to it. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, whenever I'm performing, yeah. I always see you at all the shows. Yeah, I love being there yeah. because it gives me a lot of, uh, you know, uh, inspiration to write my own jokes. Yeah, exactly. That's why I sit there with my phone in the back and just like, oh, shit, that's... Uh, I came up with something about that. Yeah. yeah, okay. So you use attending stand-up as a, yeah, kind I, of I like an yeah. idea-generating process. We just like, not... Uh, it's not why I go, but I know that it's coming if I go. It's like, yeah, I got a few yeah. new jokes. So you know what I do, man? When I go to work, when I do a spot, a lot of the times I'll try to get there as early as possible, yeah. even if there's nobody there, and I'll be like, okay, I have to go on stage now. Maybe I'm going to try to come up with something now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got an hour and a half. Let's see what we can make work. <laughs> and then other comedians get there, and then you can just bounce ideas back and forth. Yeah. yeah. But it's smart going to it because I, when I sit at home, often I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm not that keen, mm -mm. but when I go there, I was like, shit, I want to go up stage every time. Yeah, and probably yeah, and you, get, you get a lot of opportunities too. Yeah. There's room in the program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone I says, have hey, to you say no five. sometimes, and that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a nice thing. Why do you say no? No, sometimes I'm stone, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, just, yeah. I just don't want it. Uh, I was like, ah, oh, uh, I, uh, I don't want to working. go up there, try to, not that I, I like steal the, uh, like, yeah, I don't, I think I'm try like, yeah, I don't know. It's Maybe weird. sometimes I don't want to go and just like, yeah, I want to stand every time. No, and no, no. always like trying to be fun. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Some, it's just sometimes it's Som good just going as a fan. Yeah. Just enjoying you it. You know, just watch dude. the stand up. Dude, I'd love to get catatonically high. Like mm. so high, like bucket bong high. Just go on stage and be like basically brain dead. I would love that as well. Yeah. If people knew it. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> If I'm super stoned and walking around, people are like, "Ah, oh, he's a fucking idiot." Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, this guy fucking sucks. Backside. Yeah, yeah. But if the, it's, that's the concept, that yeah. would go this well, right? Yeah, high rollers. That would be cool, man. Dude, that's man. I wanted to do a four twenty. I feel show. like when I'm at my funnest, I'm drunk and high. Yeah, that's when I think I'm funnest. Yeah. Maybe not the most people around me. But yeah, uh, but it doesn't matter. When you think you're the funniest, <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest. Yeah, yeah that's that, it. That is the funniest. Yeah, yeah, that's when you're tuning into your vibe. You're like, <laughs> oh shit, I'm surfing this way. Yeah, I'm like two, three drinks deep, I'll had a couple of times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, damn. No, I love it, man. I yeah. love 
love it. I gotta, I gotta get high more often, dude. Yeah. I gotta smoke more weed and sling more jokes. <laughs> yeah. I think we talked about this before. I, I was like, yeah, I don't know, like how good I am on stage when I'm baked. Sometimes it goes all right. Sometimes it's like a yeah. fucking roller coaster. But I feel like everyone else that does it, that I know that smokes before and all that stuff, they, I think they're good. But I, yeah. if it's me, I get too. I get. I think I get too nervy. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, like uh, a couple of times, I've smoked like too close to the show. Yeah, and be like, "Fucking!" I was in Bergen with the uh, Alon mm. and Marco and stuff, and I was like, "I, I could take a it took a few hits," mm-hmm. and I was going up on stage on uh, in Ricks. Yeah, the last uh, the, that was actually the last day of Ricks. Yeah, the I- last weekend, and I was. Very uh, nervous. Yeah. I was like, I, I think I did it good. Yeah. But I was like shaking and stuff. And I was like, okay, shit. Yeah. Don't smoke too close to the show. Yeah. I guess it also depends on yeah. like a few other factors. Yeah. You know, like how strong is the weed? How much how did you take? <laughs> yeah, I, I like, did too much. Yeah, yeah. Did you take that extra? You know, you feel <laughs> it. You're like, oh, I should have taken that last hit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck! I and thought it, it was two hours to the show. Is one? Yeah. I was like, oh shit! <laughs> shit. That's a, yeah. We just lost time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> fuck! And uh, are you are you like uh, doing? How often are you doing the Galta show? Yeah, I've been doing it. Uh, I think uh, I have uh, done. I think it's six or seven live shows this year yeah. since March. Yeah. But uh, that was the last one now because yeah. I'm I'm doing uh, I'm going through this. Uh, I'm uh, gonna change my kidney, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I'm a bit tired these days. Now I was like, I'm gonna do it like nothing in uh, November and December, I think. Yeah. Just like totally relax and uh, you're focus g- on that and yeah. just get back stronger, you know. Yeah, that's good. Cause you're getting a kidney transplant. Yeah, from my dad. Yeah. I get my uh, kidney from him. So I can do shows. I thought I was gonna be a b- more tired than I am and that I am right now. You know? Okay, so you're still feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. But like, I do just uh, shows that I want to do. Exactly. So I do like yeah, once every other three, four days. Yeah. I can do something and then relax for a couple of days. Yeah. And, uh, Are you doing anything else besides stand up? I do. Uh, we've been uh, filming Gaut Shola. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. The, I've actually been working much more than I wanted to. So but, uh, that's super fun. So you're filming Galta show, which is something different yeah, we, to the live show. Yeah, it's something different. It's, it's the same kind of like character I am. Yeah. But uh, no uh, live uh, like uh, audience or anything. Yeah. And two guests, and maybe like it's uh, harsher. Gotcha. There, because we can cut it, things out. So yeah, I say yeah, yeah. a lot of things that is not going to go uh, on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you just so fucking it's like, yeah, weapons dude. free. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, oh. And then when you're editing, you're like, uh, I don't know whether we can get away but with that. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm i going blind to what's <laughs> all right and not. Yeah. Because, okay, that I can say, that I can say. Because you, s- you, you, you push, you push, you, I mean, you push it pretty hard, man. I tr- try. Yeah. Yeah, in a way, but I you think, like, I have a pretty clear line where i think i'm not gonna go but i yeah. uh, maybe my line is further yeah than uh, a lot of others yeah i think so yeah but, but i think uh, I, th- I like that's what i like is funny yeah. for me i mean i like it like let's let's see where this motherfucker's line is yeah do you know what i mean you know like where sometimes you see a comedian on stage and you're like oh shit i thought the line was there yeah, and yeah. you're just moving it <laughs> i love that yeah, I, I love I, it i've too. been doing a thing recently in my sets which is after like i do 20 one-liners which is kind of a uh, some of them are pretty dark, if mm. I can say, and and uh, and then I finish with, yeah, are you ready for some dark humor? Oh, nice. <laughs> and then I go to the like the Utah bit. And yeah, the, uh, yeah. That stuff, so. Holy and shit. And I find it funny just to see people like fuck. Yeah. Just yeah. But that's what I think. That's what your fans want. Yeah, I yeah, I, I do. Right. And there are, uh, a lot of people also come up to me after the show and they're like, you can be, you know, you can be uh, darker. You can be more. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't want to just do that. No. I, I love the stupid humor, like the yeah. fucking just like idiot things as well. Yeah, me too. Mm. I, I think you got to have a good mix and you can't just go on stage and do fucking 15 or 20 minutes of dark, dark, yeah, dark. Yeah, that, that, that's then the, too dark. Exactly. Man, then, uh, then the dark stuff and the, the line, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't exist anymore. You yeah. need to have the contrast. I like, I like when I write my sets, I like, I always put in an, like a stupid joke in between yeah. all the dark things. Yeah. I don't know if I had too much dark I don't think so. No, I, 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 people mostly remember those. That's yeah, the worst ones. Those are the ones. Yeah, and, but I know that feeling as well. Where after you finish 
and you're hanging out, people come up and they go, Wow, we really loved the Grover Witze. Yeah. yeah. In the Grover. Yeah, really? You had to do <laughs> Yeah, we like Grover. it. But it, it is yeah. weird. It is weird the people who come up and say that they like it because they're normally the mm. people that you wouldn't expect. You know That's what I mean? True, you yeah. see like some fucking 23 year old <laughs> nursing student or something saying, We loved those ones. More <laughs> of that. I'm like, You loved that? The one I've gotten the most negative feedback on is when I say, Do you remember when we. Collapsed for the uh, what, secret players. Mm. <laughs> what do you call secret players? Nurses. The nurses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck uh, in the corona? Yeah. And they don't like it because a lot of nurses. And I said, yeah. There is a lot Why of nurses. Why do you clap for people having 3.1 in the <laughs> in school? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what we have. <laughs> Why are we clapping for life's losers? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Right. Get a you fucking real job. You that school. Yeah. You chose nursing because you didn't know what else to do. Yeah. You, you couldn't be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you riffing as well a lot on your jokes? Like if you tell a joke and then you go, oh, yeah. I'm in the fucking zone. Let's I, just run with it. I do it. I, I have the joke. I always have my phone up when uh, on the joke. But if I, if I get a good reaction, I can like spin it. I, a lot of things can, uh, come up, come to me uh, like when yeah. I'm standing there. Yeah, because th that's what I feel like when I'm seeing you perform is that like you're doing bits, but you're also like breaking the fourth yeah. wall. Like I'm like, okay, now this is like, it's not just somebody. I think I like, I co I'm, I like commentating on my own joke after I said it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's why. Da, 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 like, Yeah. Did, did you just smash that first beer? I uh okay. It's Did not you finish, finish it? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, no. I gotta drink faster. Mm. I feel like my um, I feel my words are slipping uh, sometimes, so I need more alcohol to do better in English. You know, I, I've uh, spoken English to myself uh, yesterday. Are you <laughs> practicing Just, yeah. for the podcast? <laughs> like English. Because I forget. You know, I was uh, traveling in 2019. Yeah, Colombia. Colombia, yeah, Woo! what a what a wow. what a country, man. All the yeah, 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 that was uh, crazy. Actually. Make it snow, <laughs> it was fucking sick. Yeah, dude, fifty kroner for yeah. a bag, dude, it's crazy, and that's expensive, man. Yeah, uh, dude, man. I yeah, I went in Colombia. I said, yeah, yeah went, went back to Norway. I was thinking about buying some powder one one time. Yeah, never did. No, no, because no. fucking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's thousand. Yeah, I don't have thousand kroners on my bank account. And it's not cocaine. Yeah, it's not cocaine. It's, it's not cocaine. Fucking, I don't know what uh, this white shit is. Yeah, fuel and uh, it's, it's fentanyl mixed with rat poison. Yeah, but in um, the like the first two weeks, we went just uh, visiting someone in uh, Colorado. Yeah, in USA, who me oh, and my nice. USA, me and my friend. Yeah, recreational was, weed, bro. Uh, yeah, and we smoked, and that was uh, also a, like a bad thing because we smoked all day, every day, <laughs> went hiking. <laughs> but I, when I and I get nervous uh, when I smoke, and then I I uh, like overthink more about my English. So I uh, yeah. didn't fucking speak for the first two weeks. And they were like, oh, they're still the <laughs> most quiet guy ever. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know me. Like, I'm no. not really like that. But no, like, no, no. So then we went around traveling for two months. And then we went back to them, met them. And then I, I think I spoke more with them yeah. for two hours than I did in two weeks. Because yeah, I okay. like, okay, I got warmed up, you know. Yeah, dude, mm. but that is a thing when you're that fucking barbecued and you're like oh my god i gotta speak a foreign language yeah. how am i gonna sound yeah, and you spend so much time thinking <laughs> about what you're gonna say yeah, that by the time you're gonna say something the yeah. conversation's and already moved like, on yeah and i that's my thing i just like say uh, the thing i came up with then and now yeah and now and uh that yeah, doesn't yeah. work in English. You have to <laughs> fucking translate it in uh, your head before saying it. Yeah. And the joke's gone. It's gone. Yeah. And, and that's what's so funny about <laughs> humor is when you're just right there. Yeah. Just fucking bam, fast. <laughs> yeah, getting in there. Uh, that's, yeah. That's what I like doing, like, just commenting. Dude, how long were we in Colombia mm. for? Uh, we was going to stay there for... I think it just uh, a week, but it was, it was four weeks, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. to the end. Yeah, we're a gonna, month in we're Colombia. Gonna call, we're going to call the airline. <laughs> <laughs> we're changing the flight. Yeah, but that was amazing, actually. It wasn't just uh, it wasn't just partying. It was deep inside the jungle and yeah. just relaxing. Did nothing, drank no alcohol, drank, smoked no weed and all that for six days there in the jungle. Oh, wow. Up, I up north? Uh, what? Which jungle was it? So the, ah, it's not, it's the Amazon or no? It's not the Amazon. But, uh, it's the uh, it's in the northern parts of uh, I know Colombia. Where it is. Yeah, I know it is. Beautiful near Santa Marta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went from Santa Marta. That's uh, where we stayed at. Before. Dude, they have yeah. this ancient civilization there called the Toyan Indians. Okay, I think like 
t- Toya or something like that. And they have these ruins and uh, not too far from Santa Marta. Okay. You've probably heard about it. Yeah. I'd and it's like fucking Machu Picchu. But because nobody goes to Colombia, or yeah. not that many people, they haven't explored it. I or went excavated. to a place like that. Whatever, yeah, just yeah, a yeah. 40 minute hike from this place where it was deep inside there. Yeah. And, and all was, the Indians are wearing white. and It was fucking cool. Yeah, right? Yeah. So what was it like? Uh, was it was it? There was like mini Machu Picchu, <laughs> like right? mini, mini, mini Machu Picchu. It was uh, Picchu. some old stones and formations and stuff. And yeah. Like, okay, shit, someone lived here. Nice. Fucking two hours, two thousand years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's I think so. Yeah. What a great place to live. And we was o- also going to Machu Picchu in Peru. Yeah. Because we there as well. But I got and uh, I was going alone because my friend he has ruined his PC, so he had to go to the PC fixer with his PC, so couldn't go. Okay. But I were uh, I got a text at two uh, thirty in the night before I was going to be picked up at 8 o'clock, eight yeah. o'clock. and the guy said uh, I'm sorry we're not going to be able to pick you up so I didn't get to go to much of go. I go all the way to like just Who's an going? hour yeah 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 I fucking oh, that's, dude that uh, sucks that, yeah that sucks dude, I hiked much of Picchu uh, I did it you did oh okay yeah. you hiked you, you yeah, went yeah, yeah. To, to foot yeah so there was like a three day track we were in Cusco first okay. of all when I was there cool. I, I Cusco was, was amazing oh we went God. there for a week dude I hung yeah. out with these fucking crazy English guys this English guy called Will Smith and I just have you know how you just run mm. into people on the bus and you're like let's get a hotel together you're like alright <laughs> And then these guys go, we're going to the vet. I go, why are we going to the vet? <laughs> we're going to buy some ketamine. And so we went to this fucking vet and he picked up liquid ketamine. And I go, what are you going to do with liquid ketamine? He goes, we're going to crystallize it. And then he went and got like a fucking Bunsen burner and like a Petri dish. I think you met someone even crazier than me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and then these motherfuckers were crystallizing ketamine, Jesus. mixing it with Coke, and then going out and fucking just sniffing line after line in Cusco. Wow. I I know, and I think I was there. I was hanging out with them. I, I think I was there for like two weeks, and I ended up partying with them for like a week. And then yeah. I was like, oh, we have to do Machu Picchu. And then they're like, you go, and then we'll catch up with you. <laughs> they were there for like fucking two months. They yeah. didn't go to Machu Picchu once. <laughs> but it's such Cusco is such a crazy it's party so town. It's stupid to go to Cusco without going to Machu Picchu. I that's know. what I did. And that's yeah. what, like, ah, oh, man, that's uh, I'm kind of ashamed of that. Yeah, but it yeah. seems like it wasn't your fault. You were booked, and then yeah, the, some was, asshole just yeah, fucking canceled. could have gone like the, the first six days, though. I yeah. was like, okay, shit, this is the last day I'm going there. Yeah, okay, so you put it off. Yeah, I put it off. Yeah, but then yeah. I got to know as well. Of, <laughs> oh shit! And, uh, yeah, dude, it was a, it was actually a, re- it was, I mean, it, it was a beautiful experience mm. because and we. Cusco was beautiful. Though. It's, it's nice. We did this but, like yeah, three, picture, three well. day hike, right? Where you're like, I think it's called the Inca Camino. Oh, that's so nice, man. Yeah, dude, it was nice, man. I want to do that with my family. Yeah, maybe at one time. Yeah, because it was too much partying yeah. <laughs> with my friend. Exactly. Yeah. At least if you take your family, they're gonna keep you honest. You yeah. Know, like, why are you disappearing all the time? <laughs> why are you been awake for three days? Yeah. Like, you gotta sleep. <laughs> we're going tomorrow. It's all set up. Yeah. Shit. So you were. Tell me where you went. Then you went to Colombia, Peru, Colombia, Peru, Chile, uh, and Argentina. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, and uh, Panama, Guatemala, mm. and Costa Rica. Really. Yeah, and USA though. Yeah, okay. We're a month in USA as well. Yeah. Damn, that's I a good trip. I didn't like that too much, though. Nah, it's, no. it's, it's, it's more fun too, in South too America. It's expensive Fuck when you that. go from Guatemala to, to Hollywood. That's, yeah. okay, it's it like... It sucks. It's, yeah. Fuck that. that yeah. Dude, I, I, Fuck mean, that. I mean, I was in Guatemala. And I was there for about a month. Doing oh, like, yeah, nice. I, I traveled to South America for almost two years. So then I spent, Jesus, a, yeah, okay, I spent cool, a lot man. of time in every country, like maybe a month here, yeah. two months. And then I lived in Honduras for six months. You did? Yeah, yeah man, That's cool, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really cool. But, but Honduras, was, isn't it that yeah, pretty... Uh, it's sketchy. Yeah, it's sketchy. It's really yeah, sketchy. It's right really word. sketchy. But I flew into this island called Utila, which is a backpacker scuba diving paradise. Okay. And like we, I think my accommodation was like $3 a night. And then I was, <laughs> it was crazy. I was working at this dive shop as a dive master in training. Yeah. So I didn't have to, I just paid them whatever the fuck that was, like 300 bucks. And I was doing like four or five dives every day for six months, taking people out diving. Cool. How old are you doing? Dude, I was a young in here, James, bro. Yeah. I must have been 21, <laughs> 22. Wow, it's yeah, cool dude, though, to do that. Just yeah. fucking with an Australian accent. Yeah. I think like four months is uh, tops for me going yeah. out dude, to no. comp at home. Yeah, no, I was gone for, oh, I think well, that trip, I was gone from Australia for almost, for two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. it's normal. 
I, I think I met a lot of Australians you as know, well. It's, they love traveling. It's a part of our culture because yeah. what usually happens is Australia is so fucking isolated from everything yeah, else. Yeah, it is. It's, so, yeah. it's not like Europe where you just go to fucking wherever in two hours. So what normally happens is people finish school, they work for a year, save up cash, and then they go for a year or a year and a half or two years. Yeah. And then you go back to Australia and you're like, okay, now that's I'm a cool uh, culture. Though. It's, it's a really yeah. cool culture. So and I think it's good for people as well <laughs> to dude, travel, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Think about how many fucking people you end up meeting from yeah. all walks of I life. Think you grow a lot on those. Uh, yeah. No matter how long you're gone. Yeah. But yeah. And you're, um, you know, you're constantly getting stimulated by new environments. Yeah. And what happened to me, right? Like maybe when I was about six or seven months in, I never this is I never felt more at home than when I was going to a new place by myself at night. So I would always try to schedule buses <laughs> and flights where I'd arrive like as late as possible. You went alone, yeah. Yeah. I've known it for years. I, I actually I actually <laughs> <laughs> nobody can put up with me for that long. Nah, man. Like <laughs> fuck this asshole. <laughs> so I actually left with my best friend and we stuck together for like three or four months and then okay. he went his way and I went my way. And then uh That's but, a nice thing, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Mm. It, it was really cool. It was a good thing to do together. Were you tired of each other? You know what, yeah. man? I actually ended up hooking up with this American chick. Yeah. And he was like, he couldn't stand her. He was like, <laughs> I got to go, man. Uh, like, dude, I'm going to yeah, get this yeah, pussy, bro. Yeah. I'm going to fuck this chick for a little bit longer. <laughs> and then he went he went somewhere else. That's then, annoying. Because that, yeah. that, that same happened to me. Like, I was your friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right? <laughs> yeah, my friend, he got a girlfriend. Yeah. For like two weeks, uh, Jew from England. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, super in love. Oh, yeah, man. you're not in love, dude. You're yeah. just like, yeah. Dude, shut the fuck up. It's been two up. weeks since you have another. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, they were always cuddling and uh, mm. so cozy. But yeah. that was super boring for me. So, so annoying. I need to find some other friends. So, so and, and I yeah. was, this was in, we were in Rio de Janeiro when we parted ways. Not, no, I didn't mean to say Jew in a bad way. No, Is that no, allowed no. to say Jew? You can say Jew. I can say Jew. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Why not? I mean, Kanye West says it and he's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it worked out yeah. for him. <laughs> Dude, isn't that motherfucker going? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't I read too it. much of it. But I, I saw that uh, Adidas said uh, yeah. um, cancelled. Dude, first of all, his bank <laughs> fired him. Like he got oh. kicked out of his bank. How do you do? That? I don't know. They're like, you know what? You can't bank here anymore. But I, yeah, but he's sick though. He's like, it's he's mental illness. Yeah, he's mental illness. I, I feel a bit sad for him. Yeah, ah, I don't yeah. feel bad. I don't for know. Him. I, love <laughs> I don't it. know. Fuck yeah. it. Let it unfold. If you see this Kanye, I feel bad for you. Yeah, take me under your wings. Man. Yeah, 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 dude. Can I get five minutes, Kanye? <laughs> yeah. Let me warm up for yeah. you. You, you, told, you mentioned Will Smith earlier. Yeah, it's a funny story and not too funny though. In in uh, Cheyenne, where mm -hmm. I come from, there was one guy. The first guy was uh, dark skinned. Yeah, it was called the N word, Helge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then that's uh, like that's what's cool mm. back in the days but he changed his name to will smith <laughs> no way because yeah. i was like yeah the coolest uh, guy his name is will smith what was his name sondra i don't know helge helge, helge. helge. Yeah. And, he, and he goes no no ah, no nah, 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 will that. smith I, I, <laughs> now I, I, you're the only <laughs> black person <laughs> in uh, shan you call will smith just <laughs> yeah. like that <laughs> yeah holy shit. i like that though i, I like, like it good. too yeah. so i know a few people that have changed their names <laughs> and i know this one guy who changed his name to hundera Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he's Handere. yeah, Handere. Hand Handere. Yeah, uh, Handere. Jesus. I know. And his real name was Magnus, and he goes, "Nah, uh, Handere." That's stupid. It's, stu it's stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I don't know. It's kind of weird, like having a name, right? Because yeah. you didn't fucking pick your name. No, you, you that's pick true. everything else in your life, right? You can pick a bunch of shit, but yeah. you, you can't pick what the most important that's thing true. that people yeah. call you is. I mean, you can get like you can't even pick your nickname. You like, can't you have pick to be, your name. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to be while, given a though, nickname. Yeah. 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 How, do you have a nickname? Me? Me? I call you Ninja James behind your back. Do you? Yeah, Ninja yeah, James. I think, I think, I think it's, it's cool. I think yeah, it suits me, Ninja bro. James. Yeah. yeah, Ninja James. Ninja James. Just sneak in there. Yeah. Just <laughs> get out. Sneaker jacket. Yeah. 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 No, Super I don't really have a nickname, man. You know why? I think I don't have a nickname because Inia is such a fucking weird name. Yeah. It's like, what are we yep. gonna, what are you gonna call him? Like, you have a fun you know, joke there in Norwegian. Yeah. Inia. Yeah, which oh. Is this Inia? Yeah. Just like insider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. And you know what's a good one? What's good about that joke is it usually takes them a while to figure out. Because yeah. I'm doing that joke in Norwegian, yeah. and then that word Inya, Inya, and they can, I want to go Inya. Mm -hmm. Then they go, Oh yeah, he yeah. wants to go inside of a. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> you ever done comedy in English? I haven't. No. No. I think uh, I don't know how it uh, how that should be done. 
I no. need to then I need to drink a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, going up on stage, I think I'll be super nervous. Yeah, right. Just, yeah. I guess it's sort of But like I think a lot of my jokes are like translatable. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I've I've been thinking about doing it just like yeah, okay, I'm gonna go try to uh, translate all of them and have them in English as well. And I can do it if I want to. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, I think I want to go international, man. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, time for that. I, I look yeah. at a lot of comedians and that are doing spots in like Germany and yeah. Sweden and Denmark, and you you really can't do jokes in Norwegian in any other country, except Norway. Like, I, I, you can't do jokes no. in fucking Norwegian even in Sweden. No, I don't. They don't I know. They don't, I what know. the fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah. So, but I think like that's true though. Yeah, I, I think like, uh, and I see all of these. Um, Comedians from other countries coming to Oslo, and they're either Romanian or they're, you mm. know, like German or French or wherever the fuck they are. And they're like English comedy. And then I have a look at where they're going, and they're traveling like a kind of circuit across Europe, just doing two, yeah. three, th- three or four shows every country and just cruising on. Yeah. I'm like, what a fucking fun road trip. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, really. What should I say? What is uh, jealous of yeah. it? Yeah, I, I wish to be like super fluent in english yeah. so i can just like yeah I ha- if i don't have to think like when I, after, after two while uh two months in uh yeah and traveling i, I, I was ha- just thinking in english speaking yeah, english yeah, yeah. just like it was easy dude you can just live with now. me for two months yeah i can <laughs> just move in <laughs> yeah bro. i just need to well, s- ask my girlfriend day. first yeah, yeah yeah she's fine i need to live with india for it's a couple of months it's for yeah. my career yeah, yeah. we're <laughs> yeah. going international yes. babe yeah yeah but that seems like a lot of fun traveling Doing I a ten minute set, yeah. Do just take. M- man, I, I met a guy from yeah from, uh, I think it was from Romania or something. Mm. Came here at Salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super funny. Yeah, like, yeah, super he, he's, funny. He's he's coming on the podcast. Oh, he is. Yeah. Okay, he was super funny. I got him on uh, Instagram and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was shit, talking to should... him yesterday. Nice. I think okay. it was yeah, the same guy, yeah, that, yeah. Victor, Victor Patraskan. That sounds like him. Yeah, that's him. All those uh, he has sounds a, like, man. Yeah, he has a show called uh, The Dirty Immigrant and another yeah, one called Failing his. in Love. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he performed at Salt. There was a couple of other local yeah, comedians yeah. that did some o- It was super, open yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, he was a great guy as well. Yeah, dude, he is mm. funny. Mm. He's funny. Like, I didn't see that show, but I saw him coming and then I've been following him on Instagram. Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. And he's one of these dudes that I'm talking about that's always traveling. Yeah, he was. Always. Yes. Like, I mean, his tour now... I think I don't know. He's doing like fucking ten or fifteen countries. It's like it's a lot. How how do how like how good does it pay when you like? I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's too. I don't know. Known I, around Europe. I don't. I don't think it pays very well. No. But who but gives fuck, a fuck? It's super fun as right? well, right? Yeah. Like, it, uh, wouldn't you be happy if you just made enough Absolute, money to do yeah, the trip? Yeah, yeah. Let's say you're doing a two week tour in like could eight be a countries. vacation kind of stuff as well. If you <laughs> save up some money and just go around, if you if you like doing it, you gotta love doing yeah, it, and yeah. especially like work. he. And now I and I, I know that now he's traveling with another guy, an Irish guy, so they're like rolling around together. Even though I don't understand, like some Irishmen, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they can travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can can travel to Germany and to uh, no, stand. You, you, they don't speak English. All well. the crowd has to drink Guinness. Yeah, everybody's gonna have two pints of Guinness just <laughs> yeah. to understand this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but that's you know after we did the crush tune mm. and we went around fucking so many places in Norway. Who who, uh, who were you? Who Me, were you? Yeah. Espen, Robert, Felix, and Ola. Felix. Yeah. Felix Sukari. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, mm. yeah. I just haven't met him. Mm. No, yeah, he's awesome. And so we did like I don't know whatever it was, like twenty shows in three and a half weeks or whatever the fuck it was. But it was just like that road trip. Yeah. It was just a road trip, man. You know what I mean? Like mm. camper vans. I, I really want to do that with the gang. <laughs> you you know? have to yeah. do it with a gang. Yeah, I don't have a ha- yeah. I haven't been in the community too long nah. to like have a. Gang, yeah, to do that with. I think, but I now am. I have I have Marco, and uh, <laughs> dude, I'm in I'm in the Galta gang. Yeah, I'll you're come. Good. Let's go. We'll go yeah, together. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, just traveling around doing the comedy. Yeah, yeah. Nowhere. Man, I was thinking like, what would yeah. be a pretty cool place to do? Because <clears throat> what I do is I try to combine things that I love. That's yeah. that's my thing in life, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So I love traveling and I love comedy. So whenever I go backpacking, I'm traveling anywhere. I always see if I can do spots. Yeah. 
And uh, now I, I think what a cool thing to do is is to say, like, where do you want to go? Do you, do you guys want to fucking take, like, a five-day holiday or, like, do a trip and visit Svalbard? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, let's go to fucking, I don't know, Tromsø and Svalbard and yeah. hang out for a couple of days and then do, do some shows. And maybe the, you know, sh- holiday covers itself. Yeah. And we have a fucking dope experience. Yeah. And you don't really need too many people to do that with. No, uh, I would love to go on a stand-up uh, golf trip. Oh, yeah, yeah you play that, golf. Yeah, I play golf. Yeah. That's what I love like the most, I think, even more than comedy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. How long have you been playing golf for? Uh, since I was like 12, I think. Oh, yeah. really? So I've been playing a long time. So you... And my dad and my mom and my brother play. Yeah, okay. So we're. Uh, I've been to a lot of family trips, mm. golfing. And just like, it's the best time of the, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and do you guys, do you like uh, all have a similar level? or is uh, Me and my brother are pretty pretty similar. Yeah. We're always fighting uh, on the go- on the course. Like yeah. To, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. And uh, my dad is uh, worse. And my mom is just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she just good. loves to be with us. <laughs> yeah. Because when you're on the golf, I've played golf a bunch. Yeah. When, when you're on the, co- uh, on the course, I mean, like, it's a, it's a, it's a commitment. Yeah, when it's you know you're spending like a whole a whole day together. Yeah, it's five hours yeah. uh, at least, almost. Yeah. yeah, and so you're outside and getting it's, fresh it's, air. It's perfect because you're, you're you're outside in beautiful nature often, mm. and uh, you don't get into the like the 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 deepest conversations, but you like keep it at the the nice level where it's always just nice yeah, and yeah. funny. Yeah, a couple of jokes. Yeah, talking about everyday other things. Yeah, yeah. And then you focus on your shot, of course. Yeah, yeah. it is. And, uh, it, it, it I, I, is. I, I, it's it's a sen, you know. Yeah, yeah I think uh, it's my kind of uh, meditation, jujitsu. I don't know what you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you're right about the depth of the conversation. You mm. can't go too deep. You can't start like yeah. your parents aren't going to start talking about your life choices. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know no, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> Just like, it's, it's, got, a, it's a free space. Man. Yeah, I'm walking this way. <laughs> you, it's a safe zone. Yeah. You know, we're just going to talk about like... <laughs> you're going to talk the... about that now in my backswing? <laughs> yeah. about my mom's cancer? You know? <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> Concentrate. Yeah. Hold, and what do, you, what, what do you do in the winter then when the course is closed? Oh, I'm fucking uh, I'm miserable. Well, do, yeah. you, do you ever play like virtual golf? I know that yeah, ha- I do. Yeah, yeah. But I had a problem with virtu- virtual golf in uh, Shan when I lived there because the the this is not interesting for anyone. But uh, my <laughs> swing didn't get like caught in the. Uh, it didn't work, so you I have to like shoot five times to get one shot. What? What? C- because wh- I don't know. You need the wind. Yeah, you need but the I think I, I played a couple of times last uh, recent years. Yeah. Okay. But we're. Uh, We've actually been uh, going a lot of, uh, not a lot, but uh, maybe once a year uh, to uh, yeah, Turkey or Spain or Italy or mm. something to play golf. Have you ever played in Scotland? Fun. Yeah. I've yeah. Because yeah, that that's where golf is that's from, That's the golfer's it? home country, yeah. Yeah. It's the origin. Yeah. <sighs> Shit. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, you get to see so much when you're at the nice course because mm. it's so much money in it as well because so it's so beautiful money. to maintain it's made beautiful and it's like beautiful clubhouses and all that not I, that i care about sh- so much uh, about that though but, but it's but nice like when you're when you're around a really beautifully landscaped yeah piece it's of soothing nature. for the eye and the your, yeah just your mind. i gotta i gotta think yeah. golf is really good for your eyesight yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're constantly, like, when you compare always looking at a screen, like, 20 yeah. centimeters away from your face, when you're looking at, like, you know, down the fairway, you're going, oh, fuck, I really have to swing this down there. You're, yeah. you're really focusing on a far distance. Yeah. Dude, lately I've been playing tennis. Yeah. yeah. I do like do, it. I love it. Do you play? Okay. No, I have, no, not so much. Did I, I played a lot. Tried what, a couple of times. I, I played a lot when I was a boy and a teenager in, yeah. a, in Australia. It's too much running after the ball, I think. Oh, that's a lot of running, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, Especially like, if someone. Uh, oh, uh, dude, fuck, yeah, run, Especially when you ball. play with somebody who's real good. It's yeah. Like, I'm going to make yeah, this yeah. fat cunt run. <laughs> like, uh, 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 uh. But one of the things that I've been enjoying about playing tennis lately yeah. is the concept of visualizing where I want the ball to go. Yeah. And I get that's pretty similar as with golf as well. Mm -hmm. And just like in golf, the shot doesn't finish after you hit it. Like the follow through is super important. Yeah. And like when I'm hitting a ball, uh, I'm like projecting after I hit it where I want it to land. And I feel like my mind plays even a small little bit of 
uh, an influence on where that ball goes yeah. after it's been released from the racket. Yeah. You know what I mean? You talk to the ball. Yeah. yeah that's the, it. In go, golf, in, that's go in, all, go in, yeah, go in, go on, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. I feel like the helps. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, but it's, it is. It's meditation. For but that's sure. meditation. Also, a thing I do, uh, we learned that I went to Top It Right. Uh, top It Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah, elite, so elite sports, elite sports elite golf, sport for uh, boys. golfing line in uh, Shen. Is that for high school or? Uh, I was me and my brother and one friend, so it wasn't too good of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, like, yeah, it was pretty, not yeah. too too great. Yeah. Uh, Class of two thousand and six. Go- yeah, we played golf like uh, one, two times a week in the summer, and at winter we just uh, exercised. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a bit uh, Yeah. 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 But. Uh, yeah, uh, one thing we learned is uh, to visualize. Then we we lay in bed. It was uh, like the practice we did with our coach. Yeah, and lay in bed and visualize like eighteen holes and how you want the shots to be. You know, uh, that's pretty nice. You played the whole course in your in mind. In your mind, yeah. Oh my god! And I also do that after I I do that sometimes because I have a. Uh, and not to brag, I have a really good brain when it comes to remembering like shots, and then I can remember like, my last five rounds and all the shots and where it went and all that stuff. I, yeah, I'm better than my uh, at least my dad and my brother. Yeah. So when I I'm finished with a round, I often just like close my eyes and I go through the whole round in my head. I think it's a good exercise and yeah. also soothing when I lay in bed to yeah, try to sleep. Exactly. And like, yeah. Some people are counting sheep and yeah. just <laughs> visualizing the back nine <laughs> of a golf course. Yeah. Maybe it's just because I play a lot of golf. Yeah, you, you when you play obsessed. a lot of Tetris, you get Tetris uh, when you sleep as well. Dude, I, I played a lot of chess before, man. Yeah. And then whenever I was on the bus or the trick, yeah, I'd be like, if I was a horse, I could take her. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, st- I need to, like, I gotta yeah. calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's so important to be obsessed by things, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it seems like you, you like me, both, we have obsessive brains. Yeah. And, you know, I, I feel like you can't get great at anything unless you're obsessed by no, it. No, and I'm, yeah. Uh, I agree. Yeah, it's real nice because this this summer as well. I like the I, I got like a renewal of the. I I do that every summer. Like I get fuck. I I fucking love golf. Like yeah. I get like, fall like in the, love with it again. Yeah, you're like a child. Mm. Like, shit, I want it. I I go golf and I watch golf. Like yeah. use ten hours of my day to just like yeah, yeah. sit and watch golf yeah you become a fucking golf Maniac. addict yeah yeah <laughs> nah but it's it's good man like i i couldn't imagine not have i've always been obsessed with things like my entire life I'll what fi- was your first like obsession Ooh, dude i mean like as an activity maybe it was like uh skating yeah i was like big into skating yeah you know that's the, that. yeah. yeah that's like maybe like one of the first kind of okay riding my bike is cool ride my bike oh well, shit we've got skateboards <laughs> yeah now? you know what i mean like <laughs> trying to ollie and like kickflip yeah and, uh you know ride ramps and stuff like that uh that was a that was a big exception a really mm. big one yeah and then i think i was like soccer and then tennis and then you played all those sports yeah i played a lot nice. of sports man i was never very good at any of them <laughs> okay do you know what i mean but i i don't think i chose sports that were great for my body type or i've always been kind of like heavier chunky. yeah you're a bulky guy yeah, yeah right i'm like a bowling ball <laughs> so i was like always trying to do these lighter kid sports yeah. you know like athletics and running and like, yeah just getting oh. smoked but you know i found my group Fuck those sports though Fuck yeah. those sports. and you know my dad was yeah. like a hyper athlete he was yeah. super athlete okay. like a super athlete and uh i was like i'm just can't i just can't do it and i used to yeah. do these this thing called little athletics on the weekend and I was always coming last, and my dad was. Like, but then I figured out the sports that I was good at was throwing things. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> shot put okay. and discus. I just turn up and just fucking launch something. And the javelin, so yeah, fucking, I I'll see launch javelin. a javelin, yeah. bro. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know, later on, my obsession transitioned into uh, jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been doing that? Seven years, including Seven, two yeah. pandemic years. Yeah. Yeah. So no. you take that with a grain of salt. What are you, yeah, what are you doing in jiu-jitsu and, uh, during the pandemic? Wrestling or shadow? Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, actually, I've got some mats in the studio. So yeah. I had a few buddies come down and we trained okay, every now cool. and again. But uh, it, was on an, it wasn't very jiu-jitsu, consistent. Jiu-jitsu, man. I've never tried any like fighting sports. 
Because no. of my kidney, I could never like uh, start with kickboxing or something. No, I, I think I never would have, anyways. But uh, yeah, because if somebody one kick into the kidney, I'm I'm finished, man. Yeah, <laughs> not, not <laughs> worth it. To the hospital. Yeah. But uh, maybe ju- what about if like somebody put jujitsu? Jujitsu. Is that for juice? Yeah, dude. It's all juice. All <laughs> Jewish guy. I'm half Jewish. Shalom. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, I don't know whether jujitsu is good for you then, because no. people are putting weight on your stomach a lot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a technique called knee on belly, okay. where people doesn't put, sound oh, too doesn't nice. Sound good, promise. <laughs> you get some fat cunt like me weighing a hundred kilos, just fucking trying to find that sweet spot. <laughs> I, I don't want it. You don't want any part no, of that. I don't want to fight, man. No, I'm golfer. You're yeah, a golfer, bro. I have my clubs. Yeah, yeah you yeah. just fucking smack some cunt with a fucking <laughs> two wood. Shit. No, nah, but I'm pretty obsessed with comedy now. Yeah, you oh, are. Yeah. 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 How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I think I started in October 2018. Okay, yeah, yeah. not long before me. Mm-mm. I think I met you pretty early in the, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like one of my first shows. Yeah, yeah. probably at Lincoln or something. Yeah, probably. Right, yeah. everybody meets at Lincoln. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> in the beginning, you're like, well, yeah. where can I perform? <laughs> Lincoln, let's go. Yeah, oh. I, I I remember, man. Yeah, we've um, yeah we've seen each other around a lot, mm. which is uh, and and it's getting more frequently now as well. Yeah, yeah, which is I think it's awesome. Be- I like it. I like it too. Yeah, cheers, cheers brother. Man. You end up uh, you end up developing like I mean I'm seeing fucking comedians more than I'm seeing almost anybody else. I am as well. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like like I get good friends there. Yeah, mm. even though. It, uh, it's not colleagues in that um, same uh, word as uh, my brothers and his uh, guys at the office. No, nah, it's a different, it's yeah. a different connection. You're always like you're doing the thing you love. It's, yeah. a, it's a passion-based yeah. friendship, and I would never be friends with like ninety percent of the com- comedians that I'm friends with. Like <laughs> I would never meet them. No, I know. You know what I mean? Like where yeah. the fuck are you gonna run into people? No, that, that's like definitely. And then you, you meet somebody who's so different from you. And yeah. their style is so different. They think completely differently. Yeah. You know? I like, love huh. it, though. I yeah. love it. I love it, too. Many, yeah, many friends that do complete different comedic uh, styles. Yeah. But in the, yeah, super nice persons as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think, the, <laughs> I think the comedy community in Oslo, and I mean, I think from what I understand as well, like, it's pr- pretty similar across Norway. It's yeah pretty good and it's ex- very good yeah it is yeah i mean at yeah. least at the level that i'm at yeah you know i don't feel like anybody's i feel like everybody's kind of supporting each other yeah 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 because we go to all the like the small clubs i don't know with the people or at the latter and all that stuff mm. i don't care about them <laughs> 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 fuck <laughs> fuck you guys uh, do you, you yeah but don't, the, i don't know if they have the, like the same we have a community where you just go there and you meet at least four or five guys you meet every yeah. other week. All the time. I, I bet yeah, they have nice. the I bet they have the same community. Yeah. Because I think to get to Lata, you've probably been there. Just have for more uh, more money. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's like they can afford to buy each other drinks. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Do you do, do you make much money doing comedy? No, I don't. No, not at all. It's it's some. Uh, I've never done any like uh, you know uh, film my job. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, and I don't want to do that. Like I want to. I like the small clubs kind of thing. Yeah, and I th- feel like my comedy is not. Uh, I don't think Latter is going to be asking me in the first couple of uh, days or weeks. Yeah, to say that. But uh, now uh, b- uh, at New York stuff, you can like get up some money. Yeah, in Gout shows there if you sell a lot of tickets, mm. then it's. Uh, but I need to split it with uh, Snorri and uh, all that, so it's not. It's not a lucrative uh, business yet. No. Yeah. I th- I think uh, that's not why I do it though. No. But, uh, I th- one day you want to, of course, you c- you can sell out new uh, frequently. Yeah, that's a good income. Yeah. From from what I kind of understand about how to make money through comedy, it seems to be that like a lot of it is uh, corporate gigs. Yeah. And if you're not doing corporate gigs, you got to do solo Sorry, shows. Siri, try to talk to me. Shut up, Siri. Shut up. Fucking whore. Dude, you know yeah. what, man? But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like I've done a few private yeah. gigs, and I, I like doing it. But I know I've met, I've met uh, two comedians that just do private gigs, yeah, in character. 
Yeah. And I've spoken to them about... I could have done that, though. Yeah. I, d- I do my stand-up character but, but also, it, so, yeah. But, but it's a trade-off. It's okay, a tra- this yeah. is the trade-off. And th- this one guy, he told me that he was Norway's highest paid comedian, right? But he never or doesn't perform on stage because... When he turns up to corporate gigs, he has to pretend to be somebody else. And if they recognize him, so when he, so, so for example, he'll, they'll say, oh, our, we've sold our company to this uh, corporation from America. And oh. now we're going to um, invite the new CEO to okay. give a talk. And then he'll just give the most fucked up talk. All do you right. know what I mean? He'll go like, we're going to do all this shit. That's we're gonna, super fun. It's though. super fun. Yeah. But, but he can't perform as himself no. anywhere. Because if anybody sees him in the audience, they'll be like, that's not a CEO. That's fucking, <laughs> that's the comedian. Oh, so okay. that's the trade-off. Oh, so right. he chose to do uh, the corporate gigs exclusively and get the money, but he doesn't get the community. He doesn't get to perform his own stuff on different stages. Yeah. So that's the trade-off. You know? Okay, yeah, that's the trade-off. Yeah. And for me, and it sounds like for you too, like the whole part of doing comedy is all of the other stuff that you yeah. want to do. You're not getting the money, but you're like telling the jokes you want to tell. Yeah. You get to hang out with people you want to hang out with. You know, you, you get to do Galta yeah. Show. It's not that I'm I'm uh, <laughs> I'm against doing the corporate jobs, but I haven't gotten a lot of uh, requests as well. No, exactly. But day one at Holzweiler was a fucking stupid thing. It was... Oh, uh, you did that. Yeah. It was me. Who was it again? It was me... Vettlevåg and uh, I think Espen Abrahamsen yeah, yeah. and Knut yeah. Sørsgaard yeah. Uh, I think it was us four was it a summer party? it was a uh, Jurebord okay uh, and uh, they didn't know there was going to be stand up yeah <laughs> and it started with like a guy saying, "Yeah, we have a surprise for you." And oh he take God. off his jacket and is pretending to strip. Yeah. And it was just like thirty-year-old women, forty-year-old women, eighty percent of them were, and they was like, "What?" And they thought, oh, okay, that's cool. Want a stripper? And they're like, no, I'm joking. It's stand up. And they fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody shut the and fuck up. 3,000 kroners <laughs> worth in, in clothing. Yeah. <laughs> so I was oh, like, okay, never worth it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's it's probably cool. If I, if I think that, uh, okay, these guys want me, if, if, you, yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah, look, I've I've filmed a lot of corporate gigs. Yeah. You know, that's why. Do you I, do your own set just like no, no, because no. I I would I would felt like I need to do something for them. Like you have yeah. to. That's what they're if paying you for. Ship, yeah, yeah. You need to joke about them. Yep. Uh, that's a Dude, tip I got from Hollywood. Just do a fucking PowerPoint on the um, just search them up on Facebook and do everyone laughs. Yeah, yeah. I I've seen corporate gigs that uh, Sigrid Munatus fixed on. Yeah. And she has done her fucking homework on that company, man. Yeah. Like, it was like a 15, 20 minute set, and she's referencing the CEO. That's so smart, refer- though. You have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, 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 nobody gives a fuck about, you know, you talking yeah. about like <laughs> your fucking whatever. But if you're making jokes about their culture, about mm. their products, about their community, then all of a sudden they're engaged. Yeah. So I don't know what you guys did. I could do that. Though. Of yeah. course you can. Yeah. And you're getting, you know, you're getting paid to do it. Yeah. And like people that are doing these corporate gigs, I mean, they're making bank, man. Mm. You know, I don't know how I much know. she made. She probably made 20, 30,000. Just need to get like into that uh, I don't, environment. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not in, uh, I'm not at uh, Reiste Comic Club. No. No, I'm, Yeah. I think a lot of them probably get booked through, you know. Yeah, a, a but I haven't done agency. a lot of stand up though. I have not. Uh, no. Yeah. But I don't I think, think I don't think there's any rush to do corporate no. gigs. Like I'm in no rush to do anything. I just like I want to do more gigs, normal gigs first. Yeah, me anyways. too. Yeah. Yeah, and that's so now l- next year when I get my kidney, yeah. I want to like do more stand up yeah. and like try to do it more frequently and have more shows and yeah. all that because I have a bit more energy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's the good thing about an Oslo. I mean, you can, without even trying, you can do two or three spots a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially if you're like, some guys are real good at like, you know, sending messages. Hey, anything in October, October, October. You yeah. know, you just hear from the same people all the time. And like, if you're doing you that. You see that all, all, all of our friends on Facebook yeah. have like the, I'm like, standing here. All of here, my dates. Like, oh, fucking <laughs> every day. Yeah, yeah. That's a all lot. Of, yeah. People so, are doing stand up, man. Yeah. yeah. And I you you, you know, you, you gotta respect that side of things as well because yeah. a lot of comedy, in my opinion, isn't just doing the jokes. It's like being organized and yeah. having the relationships and writing to people in advance and saying, Can I get booked here in November? Yeah. 
think I'm too bad uh, in that ex- aspect of the uh, stand-up uh, life that I I don't like doing like the same joke too much. Mm. So, but that's also a smart thing though, because then I try to write more and try to try new things every time. I think it's good, man. Yeah, I'm I'm like I'm a little bit torn because I'll have I'll work towards getting a good 15 minutes, and by yeah. the time it's a good 15 minutes, I feel like I've done it like 50 times. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I'm I'm like, tired, nah, man. come on, I want to say some and more you shit. And meet everyone who's not in the community. They also say like, I saw him. Uh, two weeks ago and did the same I was yeah. Like, yeah it's not too weird that he did it two weeks ago but yeah. like oh they think so like, oh he does the same every time yeah they am, um, almost expect you to make jo- new jokes to yeah every set yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's a show guys <laughs> like you know what i mean like have you seen fucking spider-man like yeah. <laughs> it's the same fucking movie um but i went through a phase where i was doing a new set almost every set yeah, you know what I mean, and it wasn't like a solid set. Like I, it, it was good for me to always be like trying new jokes and re- reorganizing things. But then I saw Espen Abrahamson, yeah, and I go, oh, you're just getting really good at. M-. He has, let's say, he has like forty minutes worth of jokes, right? Yeah. He'll be like, I'm gonna choose the best fifteen minutes and just this fifteen minutes. Yeah, and maybe the next set after that, it might not be the exact same, but it's a yeah. lot of the same jokes. Yeah. And I but feel he has, like, yeah, he has so good jokes though. So good jokes. He, his jokes are really good. Very good. Because he's like one of the only, only uh, ones that I have like seen forty times and still like fucking. He's hilarious, man. The yeah. jokes are. I don't get tired of the jokes. No, and I think what he I does, think, yeah. and I, I, you know, I've, I, t- I talk to everybody about their process. He, he has a laptop like with um, a catalog of jokes. Okay. And then he'll be like, you know, this is my set list for night. I'll take this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then yeah. the set list for tomorrow night might be different, but just contains some of the same jokes. Yeah. But you got to have like, you got to look at each joke as like a song. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And then, like, okay, this is the playlist you for tonight. Throw a, <laughs> what do you call it? You throw yeah. dice. Yeah. And just land on. Let okay, it push one. randomize. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, man, lately, lately I've been doing like a lot of the same jokes. Like you've seen a lot of the same shit. Uh, a bunch of the same jokes, but I'll always try to throw a f- couple of new ones in here yeah. and there. Yeah, smart. Yeah, otherwise you just fucking end up hating saying the same shit. Yeah, you know, it's like a wizard always using the same spell. <laughs> yeah. like, I'll turn you into a frog. Like, let me see if I can turn you into a cabbage. <laughs> Some fucking other shit, man. Oh. Do you believe in magic, bro? <laughs> yeah, I believe in magic. Yeah, yeah. a bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I'm really. Uh, I don't believe in uh, anything. Nothing. No, I don't think so. Nothing at all. No. What about you? Got to believe in some. Shit, I wish man. to believe in karma. D- that's you a know, good one. Uh, yeah, like, tr- but I don't believe in it as a as a uh, like a real thing. But it's smart to do. Yeah. I, I, be good to others, then they be good to you. Yeah, smart to do. Yeah, the the thing is with karma is that you yeah. everybody knows somebody who's a good person who ends up getting fucked over. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like that's some, true. Somebody yeah. who's like he that's was the really nicest true, guy man. in the world, yeah. and then like he got leukemia, and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Him? But he that's donates true. to a leukemia charity yeah. every year. But then maybe he beats the leukemia, though. Yeah, maybe he beats <laughs> it. It's been good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's like maybe if you believe in karma and something bad happens to you, you blame yourself. Yeah. You're like, maybe I wasn't that good. Do you believe, are you, are you spiritual? Uh, yeah, dude, I'm spiritual as okay. fuck. Man. Yeah, 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 I can yeah, yeah, see yeah, that, though. <laughs> yeah, I believe in everything. Yeah, but I, I like the idea of it. But uh, I don't know if I can, I can never like really believe it well you know what helped push me over the edge was like all all these ayahuasca experiences that i had okay yeah yeah. so that when like i went to peru twice and each time i went i did seven but isn't that you're like okay uh, yeah Uh, explain yeah Yeah, so each time that i went i stayed at this like kind of like retreat in the amazon and we did seven ayahuasca ceremonies in like 10 nights and every time you're doing ayahuasca like you basically surrender your life and you yeah. just you have to cross over the that divide. That is insane, it's though. Insane. Yeah, it's so, fucking cool. I, I, I want to try to. Oh, do you would it love once. it. Yeah. You would love it. You yeah, would love it. Absolutely. B- because you need to buy the ticket into the spirit world, and the way that you buy the ticket is you have to die. 
Mm. That's the only way you can let go of your body. <laughs> so like you're going to imagine, you're going to be like, you drink the ayahuasca and you're going to go through an experience where you literally think you're dying. And what usually happens is the ego hangs on and goes, no, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. But at a certain point, maybe you just drink enough, you'd be like, fuck it, I'm just giving up, I cross over. And then that's when all the magic happens. Mm. That's when you're like, oh, wow, we are all connected. There yeah, is all yeah, this yeah. shit that we don't understand. But I, I, I felt that uh, a kind of the same emotion. Well, I've, I've done like my fair share of uh, ecstasy and uh, now and not ecstasy yeah yeah ecstasy as well though <laughs> but Hell like yeah, uh, bro, lsd molly and oh, yeah, uh, nice. and you know shrooms and mm. stuff S- similar experience yeah and that's yeah and then i so i think i'm, I'm uh, much more than a lot of people in yeah. the spiritual way because i you feel like like that certain connection to love uh, and that's the one thing love. and i was like okay love is super important family and all that yeah you can feel those feelings you never feel yeah uh, you never feel uh, if not taking the yeah that it, stuff. you know yeah. you, you, you don't like, okay, you don't shit I I uh, but I don't know if I think that's a spiritual thing like outside our just like our brains maybe it's deep in our brains I don't know what's the I don't I don't know I don't know where it is yeah or like if it's in your brain or you really do plug into this energy that connects yeah, but it's all fucking living crazy things. though it's like crazy. ketamine and stuff as well yeah. you know you felt that oh my I've, god I've, I've did some it's the best. ketamine and I just put on an album by the mm-hmm. like the war on drugs oh, yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. one beautiful album and I just like I went through some life decisioning uh, yeah. moments that was like really important for me, yeah. and I felt, yeah, I felt, uh, yeah, you really feel these feelings. That shit. This is. Uh, it makes it makes you a better person. It does. It, yeah, like, it really does. I mean, that that is such a general statement to say, but yeah, like you know, you and I. Are I both know so many people that are like you should fucking. I would want. I want to drug you, man, yeah. <laughs> because you need this. You need it. Your life. I yeah. know. I've got people like that in my life yeah. as well, and they. Are Everyone m- got that. They. They, so, they are yeah. the people that need it the most. Like yeah. you. You and I have had these similar experiences. We don't really need it. But some fucking <laughs> tight, a- you know, some yeah, asshole you know. who fucking yeah. gets angry just because you fucking didn't put your shoes together. Like, shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Drink this. Talk to me in three hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I'm, you know, more of a spiritual person. Because yeah. I've gone uh, through this. I think this. it's beautiful. Yeah. I, I, I do too. And like, first of all, like, I mean, it connects you to nature. And it yeah. connects you with yourself. And when you think about how much distractions you have in your life... You know, you're fucking how much shit you got to do all the time. Pay the bills, make money, yeah. go do write the sets, fucking do the top finger of my girlfriend, everything, you know. And then when you just be like, you know what? I'm just taking time for me. Yeah. I'm just going to fucking, t- I'm just going to take this shit. You get the sense of what is here. real important and exactly. you don't want it. Yeah, you, it just comes to you. Like, okay, shit, this it comes is what to is you. It? Yeah. And what also, what you don't ca- try to chase it at all nah man and, and what kind of came to me as well when i was uh, taking the ayahuasca was a strong sense of person uh, of um purpose mm. you know what i mean like a strong sense of like what you have a very limited amount of time on this life mm. you know, very limited very limited and it's running out every day it's getting yeah. shorter what the fuck do you want to spend your time doing bro you know what I mean? You want to do this bullshit, or you yeah. want to fucking you want to fucking go on stage and tell jokes, son. You want to fucking you know 100%, what I mean? Like yeah. that's it. And I know a lot of people. You probably do too, who are so enthusiastic about something, but they just don't do it because they're afraid to do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like an experience, like some kind of psychedelic journey, can just give you the push that you need to realize your potential in mm. a direction that means a lot to you. That's yeah. Uh, cheers! <laughs> cheers! Yeah. Oh, shit! Touché, yeah. Touché. Yeah. So yeah, but you know, I'm 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 spiritual. I want to go, dude. <laughs> Let's go ayahuasca retreat, ayahuasca, ayahuasca, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I, ha- I haven't taken I haven't taken like as many chemical drugs lately. No. What no. do you mean by chemical? Like, so like you know like weed and mushrooms and yeah. like ayahuasca, yeah. But I haven't really been taking like um, um you know like say for example LSD in a while. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long I've, uh, time. I've, yeah, I'm pretty quiet uh, at that uh, stage myself though. Yeah, but yeah, m- but I was uh, more into that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but dude, I'll take the fuck. I'll take some mushrooms, bro. Yeah, I'll every other. Uh, 
<laughs> every other day i almost said yeah like uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah sometimes yeah. yeah it's it's just and it's really good when it yeah when the first uh, d- I, d- g- i have the time and the space to do it i have a girlfriend now i don't want to do shrooms and go home to her uh, mm. because she is not too no, no. into that the girlfriend and I, and the, that's the girlfriend's okay the girlfriends usually aren't yeah a lot of the girlfriends are like oh you but I, I, i would love her to see what's inside my brain when i do all this stuff because mm. she's maybe a bit um i'm not curious but a bit skeptical to yeah. all that stuff yeah uh she's from bit of yeah, yeah other uh Uh, she's from another place than me, you know. Mm. And uh, but she, I, I feel like, uh, yeah, she just said how much I love her when I like yeah. I do these things. Yeah, because yeah. I uh, that just gets stronger. Yeah. How long uh, you been? How long you been with your girlfriend for? Uh, it's about uh, one and a half year now. Oh, uh, nice. So. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, we moved together this uh, uh, January. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. yeah, thank you. That's good. So you met her during the Corona. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, last summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some lockdown pussy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's great. Things go great. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. good. Man, I'm I, I have a girlfriend at yeah. the moment that I've been together with two and a half years. Nice. The greatest person I've ever met in my life. Yeah. You know, like I love her so much. And it makes such a difference being with somebody who you really love and who yeah. loves you and who supports you. And yeah, uh, that's been so great for me as a, like in the in the comedic uh, world as well. Like now, I focus so much on like okay, I'm just gonna go try to do acting and comedy and yeah. all these uh, these goals I've always had. Mm. Like there, I feel like now I can focus more actually. Yeah, because I have that girlfriend. You don't wanna. It don't use your time going out to try to think about oh fuck I'm lonely or uh, yeah. uh, I want to try to meet a girl just to fuck yeah <laughs> like all that stupid stuff yeah I think it's yeah uh, you, you it's, can just uh, you can just so nice and comfy I I I think I'm a, I'm a girlfriend person you yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah yeah me too it's been really I'm I'm a, I'm a girlfriend person yeah. I mean I've gone through my phases where I'm just like okay I'm gonna try to dick down as many slots as possible. <laughs> Right, you know what I mean. <laughs> But then every, I'm like, oh uh, man, I just miss forming that deep connection yeah. with somebody. And then when you find somebody that is really supportive, that you love and that loves you, man, it's like your fucking pursuits artistically. Yeah, you're just like green light, go 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 yeah. go go. And I, I, I've been in relationships before where like the person that I've been with has always like, oh, are you gonna go out and do this again? Are you mm. gonna go and do that again? I thought we could like uh, stay in and like uh, make tacos and uh, watch fucking Grey's Anatomy. Mm-hmm. And you're like, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> are you gonna try to cock block me from doing what I love? Yeah. So I can watch fucking season six of this bullshit show. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Come with me. Yeah. Let's go. Come Come together. Me, yeah. Let's do it. Come yeah. on, it'll be fun. <laughs> I, I, but you know, I, I've I've met a lot of people's girlfriends in comedy now, mm-hmm. and a lot of them are really supportive. Yeah, you know, like I've seen like girls going to the s- shows with their boyfriends. Like they must have seen that fucking act like thirty or forty yeah. times. And I'm like, yeah, bl- you know, y- y- yeah, you're you're here. Yeah, she goes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah hey, it's gonna. beautiful to see. It is. I don't want my girlfriend there every day though. No. I, lo- I love uh, having that time away, meeting you guys. And, yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's important. Yeah, yeah. I I bring my girlfriend to every show she wants to come to. Yeah, if you want to come, if she want to come. You come. Yeah. yeah, of course. But I'm never gonna drag you. No, 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 no. Never gonna ask you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> come if you want. Yeah. But if you don't want to come, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, didn't you you mention something about acting? Yeah. Well, didn't you? Weren't you in Dora? In Dora, you yeah. Dressed like a fuck. Yeah, (laughs) like a daddy's boy. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, I I loved your outfit there. Yeah, that was fucking ugly, man. (laughs) (laughs) With uh, I don't know if you see it, but like the 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 donut beard. Yeah. In in light, like the 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 white beard that I have. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but that was a lot of fun actually. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was cool. And did you? I'm happy with the outcome as well. Yeah, I, I actually haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna, no, I'm yeah, gonna I, got, I gotta, I gotta check it out because couple I, of minutes only. Yeah, yeah because each, each episode is pretty short, right? Four, yeah, three, four minutes. Yeah, three, four minutes. Yeah. Okay, and you actually. play some uh, asshole in the line. Yeah, I play. Uh, yeah, one asshole in line. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> come in at two thirty or something. Yeah, and. Uh, Yeah, watch it. I'm gonna watch <laughs> yeah. it. Is it was it all scripted? 
Or did you improv uh, a bit? It was uh, some improv, yeah. I think yeah. like the, the the funniest things there are improv mm. that happens. Because uh, I always, when I act, I try to, uh, or when I'm on camera, I always try to get the, like the camera guy or the guy I'm playing against to laugh. Yeah. And that's uh, and that happens. Um, that's not scripted. Yeah. When you're like, okay, this is it. I want to try to make you fail. Yeah. Because then I look better. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good way of knowing it, whether you're onto something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, it's the guy uh, fucking who's okay, holding the heavy camera. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. All yeah. right. Nice. You got any other ideas for shows or movies or any other acting stuff that you would be like, oh, I'd love to make this. I I, I am uh, writing uh, like a bit on the show. Yeah. I was, which I'm trying to. One day I want to pitch it. Mm. I think I'm not quite ready yet. Yeah. Because I want to act a bit more before that and yeah. see a bit more of a, like a dream of mine is uh, to direct. Mm. And like write and act in my own, uh, maybe not uh, actually act, but direct and write mm. my own series, and uh, also act in my own written series. And yeah. uh, I do uh, writing about the thing now, which is called like Durden, mm. and uh, I think it's because that's uh, like the theme has always been like I'm really interested in. Yeah, not interested uh, as in like uh, I love dead bodies, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, creepy, scary. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's comedy. It's comedy, like a dark, dark comedy. Yeah. Have you seen Barry? Yes. Yeah, oh, I, love I love that show. It. I think that's the perfect show. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. dark. He's a, he's a hitman. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. And so good. Super funny. Yeah. I want to make something like if, if I can make something like that. Yeah. But yeah, about a guy who Barry. is about to die and just describing his last couple of weeks in a dark humor sense. Nice. He's like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to do whatever I want to do now in Oslo. I don't know. To that, Do I want to travel? <laughs> when, yeah. when, when you have just a, I, I, that idea of like, yeah, fuck, that's a if I'm going to die, what do I want to do? That premise? Yeah. Opens up for Open, so yeah. much because all of a sudden used you're like, a lot of what do you though, really like, want to yeah. do? Yeah, but yeah. that's like it's of course used yeah. much, but I want to make it like dark mm. and funny. Yeah, but you yeah. know the thing is like y you could say every concept's used. Yeah, right? you, of you could say like that. You fucking, it's every every concept. Yeah, yeah, of course it if, is. If you yeah. just take that as a general principle, every yeah. concept's used. But it's not gonna be done in the way that you want. No, to do it. I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like how many fucking superhero movies yeah. tell the exact same <laughs> yeah. story, but we still like it. It's still Absolutely. different enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. So uh, that's an idea I'm writing on. Yeah, so, yeah. Dude, I, I have an idea. I, I have I have two ideas that I'm kind of like sketching out at yeah. the moment. One of them is an acting agency that uh, hires out people for. Uh, real life situations. So, say for example, if one situation could be like, let's say that you are have, let's say you cheated on your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. I and did. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you cheated on your girlfriend and you'd be like, okay, we're gonna have a a, a couples session. And you don't want to go to like some real therapist who's going to like make you fucking feel bad. <laughs> you hire an actor who's like a fake therapist. And then you go there with your girlfriend. And he's like, well, I guess it's pretty normal that people cheat. And <laughs> I think you should forgive him. That's so funny, man. Exactly. Yeah, That's, and you could just imagine so many <laughs> fucking bizarre situations yeah. where you just need an actor in real life to uh, be on your so side. That's so smart premise. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. that's the same as uh, my uh, concept. Like the premise. Mm. is that okay you can make you can make hundred sketches out of this mm -hmm. and i want to just like make a series of dark comedy sketches yeah exactly yeah that's why like the one episode is like based on it's boiling down to one really good dark sketch yeah exactly or maybe two three yeah, yeah and two, and three. and the the each episode doesn't need to be very long no 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 you know i, mean? I love you the want. 21 uh, 20 minutes episodes yeah. which yeah. has like some depth yeah as well yeah yeah that's good yeah, I mean, and th that's what's so good about doing things, you know, online is that the episode can be as long or yeah. as short as it's good. You know, you don't have to like, oh, i got to keep to 21 minutes exactly because yeah. commercial breaks. It's like, you know what? This episode's 27 minutes. Uh, this one's 15. Yeah, that's what I love about Gout the Show as well. This, yeah. this, uh, some of the episodes going to be maybe 10 minutes because uh, the guests were too uh, in on the, like the the... 
like the vibe of the show mm. so we don't want like a super nice <laughs> episode yeah that's going to be short and some are 15 maybe 20 minutes it's a lot of good stuff who do you have on as guests are they comedians or are they like oh it's a lot people? of things uh like we have some artists uh some politicians some oh, yeah. uh, really known uh, tv personalities like yeah you wouldn't think coming to my show yeah yeah so that uh, yeah we have one guest which is like super cool that i don't want to say yet. yeah and because uh, you've you're, you're shooting it now and then you're going to release th- yeah now the we're, season yeah, yeah. we've uh, finished uh, filming oh nice yeah. we just have some uh, yeah some uh in slug so that's yeah. not a set yeah so we need to film some maybe some uh hidden camera stuff yeah 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 and uh, and they just need to clip it. It comes out in I think January. Yes. I don't know how they want to put it out. Yeah. If it's like one in the week or just all in a bunch. Mm. But I I'm really excited for that. Yeah. Damn. How many episodes? S- I think eight. Nice. Eight episodes. Yeah. So yeah. we played in yeah, yeah eight episodes. Oh, that's cool. And sixteen guests. Yeah. Wow. You gotta be excited about that. Yeah, I'm really excited. Fuck. Yeah. And I think this this is like. This is gonna be good, yeah. so I hope that the next season yeah. we maybe can get some money, yeah, and do it like even bigger, yeah. even crazier, dude. I think I think the yeah. m- most important thing is just to fucking do it, yeah. And you know, I speak to so many people that want to do things, and they get caught up in the oh, I'm gonna try to pitch it to TV too. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. to pitch yeah, it to NRK. I, yeah, I can say that though, but I I need to like Munter film. They're, they're uh, super funny guys, mm. two, two twins and uh, two twins and uh, nice. a normal guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they're so funny. Yeah. And they've used a lot of time on this. Yeah. Losing money. Yeah. But they're just like, I think they love making it. Yeah. I love making it. This yeah. is the most fun I have. Yeah. That's when I sit there with the, like, sit there with the, uh, uh, like a, a famous person. Like they, I had a, the... Second uh, leader in uh, Høyre. Yeah. Yeah, Henrik Asheim. Yeah. He was guest. He's super cool guy. But just like sitting there and just in one and a half hour just spitting gay jokes at him. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and just try to like put everyone up. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Wow. Yeah. And so how do you choose who's going to be a guest? Do you write to a people? You're like, you know what? Yeah, I think we've, we've written a lot of uh, requests that I haven't been asked for it as well. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we try to get uh, the princess to come there. Which one? Which one? Uh, Ingrid Alexandra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. like the the young one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we tried a lot, but we've gotten really happy with our guests. Yeah, yeah. nice. That's mm. good, man. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. To it's it just like nice to... We had the Jürgen Foss. Yep. Like the leader in the uh, handicap for the bin. Yeah. S- big guy. Yeah. And just like, <laughs> it's it's uh, nice to get l- outlet to do fat jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love feel that. like that humor we do in Get the Show is like the humor that w- was, uh, that was uh, being done in like when I was a kid. Yeah. But then it was mean. Now it's like ironically mean or yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fu- well, <laughs> you know, like is yeah. If you if you're doing anything that is funny, it, it so, so many people can interpret things. Yeah, in, in a way that they try to like minimize it to everything else except the humor. Do you know what I mean? I oh, know. you you made a you made a fat joke. Yeah. It's like yeah, but was it funny? Yeah, it was. That's, that's not the main thing. And the, no, it is the, it main, is the thing. main thing. It's, it's a the, fucking yeah. comedy show. It's that you got to focus on the funny thing. And that that uh, that yeah, that annoys me and interests me. I've I've gotten some and very uh, like not uh, not too often, mm. very uh, sheldon. What are they? Yeah, I rarely, rarely. Yeah, yeah. People come up to me and say like, "Dad, you can't joke about that." But if you sit in the show and you and you watch something and yeah, forty uh, percent of the people <laughs> maybe or 60, 80, mm. laugh. Yeah. And then you go up and like you can't joke about. It. Then you're fucking stupid, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you you can't. I you saw the guy beside you fucking yeah. died a lot. I just yeah. did, and it killed. Yeah. How about that? How about you're the asshole? Yeah. Yeah. 
but I guess I mean I I guess different people interpret things in a in a different way, yeah. you know. And everybody's so different, and that's what's so weird about doing comedy because yeah. you could tell a joke and then like somebody loves it, and then somebody fucking yeah. hates it. You want like, us, like uh, you want everyone to love it, but yeah. if everyone loves it, I don't think it's the best joke. Nah, it's not. No, because it's, it's not. kind you, of like it appeals. To, yeah, so everyone, it ticks so yeah. many boxes. Shaquille, uh, Shaquille, uh, what is his name? Uh, Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neill. Shaquille O'Neill. Yeah. <laughs> it. Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. Forty percent need to die laughter. The yeah. rest, the rest want to hate you or something. Yeah. Yeah. Th- those are good odds. That's a good uh, quote. But don't, <laughs> something, something. But don't you think that you've found your audience? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I think like so you, now. You're yeah. like you're in a position now, and you yeah. have like a lot of, um, you know, you've done a lot of shows, and you're like you know, yeah, active but I, I, on Instagram. I'm a lot of people like they know what they're getting when they come to a gal. Yeah, show. I hope so. Yeah, because I'm uh, really too like overthinking and nervy too. Yeah. I really I have like a f- small fan base, and and the last time I um, did my show now. There was uh, sold 90 tickets, mm. and that's like okay shit. Then I started to be like okay shit. These people they wanna like see me, and they I need to deliver. Yeah, I don't wanna. You, you can't tone no. it down. You can't no, water no, it down. I, yeah, yeah. Because uh, they came because they want. They, yeah, they, they want, want uh, Yeah, they want you. And that's what that, that's what I love about comedy. Yeah. Because if people become a fan of you, like nobody else can give them. Galta. Yeah. Only you can give them Galta. And, and that's it, beautiful, man. Isn't I it? loved it. That's yeah, the best. I love that. that. That's what I experienced like whenever I'm doing a show with different comedians. I'm yeah. like, oh shit, you know, everybody has different flavors. Some people really love that flavor. Some mm. people really love this flavor. But it's all based on who you are. Yeah. It's the most individual kind of artistic art form you can get. Because mm. it's just a mind expressing itself through fucking words. Yeah. That's it. You know, you don't even need an instrument, dude. <laughs> you are literally the instrument. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing about the difference between going to a spot when you're, no one knows you're there. Mm. When I just get five minutes and like, okay, this kills. That uh, That is super cool. Yeah. But it's also super cool to see people lining up because th- they know they're going to get the... Um, yeah, the stupid fucking yeah. bad jokes, and and that's what you want to yeah. work towards building up. Yeah, on, right. That's dude. You, how many Instagram followers do you have now? I think. Uh, I think. <laughs> I, th- I think. I know. I have eleven point uh, one. It's been that way uh, for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, one 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 yeah. one one. Yeah. One oh. Like, how did you end up getting so many followers? It, was it through stand up? Was it through being funny just on Instagram? No, because like, I've I've uh, I've posted uh, that I do stand up in online, but I never posted any clips or something. Yeah, uh, I th- I've thought about it just mm. to, like maybe so people who want to call to my shows if they okay I like this uh, stand up jokes. Yeah, but I also like to have one personality on like Instagram, one on TikTok, yeah, and one on stage. Yeah, I think that's cool. Like the for the acting part of it, like I yeah. uh, I am a different person on TikTok than I am in the real life. Okay, so you post. Different I am I'm a cur- character. Yeah. Okay. In a way, but like a, like a, a what should I say? The stupid version, stupidest version of me. Yeah. Is the TikTok. Yeah. And on Instagram, I'm kind of I don't know, man. <laughs> Just like yeah. Yeah. But I've uh, I started. Uh, Posting like funny videos, funny yeah. videos in uh, back in 2017, maybe on t- uh, Instagram. Yeah, and then I got many f- followers of TikTok, and maybe some of them go on to my Instagram. Mm. And so, uh, yeah. so like, if, so you basically just made funny shit yeah, on social build media, it up and on people fucking like. like uh, yeah, some yeah. some days when you post a good thing you're like, oh, okay shit get a lot of followers yeah because you know, that's that's sure. a, a conversation that i have a lot with comedians is yeah. about building an online presence because yeah. i know like a ton of really funny comedians and yeah. all they're doing is comedy on stage yeah and that that's cool like that's really cool but you can also do comedy on social yeah, media. Yeah, and I love but, that to but, see people be fun in different uh, kind of yeah. aspects. Yeah, but a, l- a lot of the times, and like maybe with you too, it's like it's a different type of comedy. Like you're yeah, not you're is. not posting stand up to no. Instagram. You're like making like a funny sketch or saying some funny shit, and it's still funny, but just in a different format. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm like you know, I, I guess I, I, you can do it either way, though, right? I yeah. Mean, p- I mean, you could post clips of 
fucking sets from stand up and yeah. it just depends on what you want to do. Mm. The thing is uh, uh which you s- uh, see a lot is uh, the the apps becoming more of a like a uh promo yeah space but I don't like that as well. I was always trying to make it funny if I'm trying to like come together to show I want to like really I don't want to just say come together to show. Mm. I want to make a funny video out of it. Yeah. In yeah. A way. But yeah. I also try to... Uh, I haven't been too good to post recently on TikTok and Insta because it's been a lot of filming, a lot of shows. Yeah. So that's... I, I always put that before. Yeah. And if people want to follow me on Instagram, cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. But that, it's the, that's where the money is, though. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I think I told you this, but in 2019, yeah. uh, I actually hired you. Well, to yeah, you did, yeah, yeah. 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 It, I was, that was, I was in Mexico. Yeah, you were in Mexico. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah, I yeah. It, it was yeah. there was this guy that was working here. Cash date, yeah, cash date. Yeah. And he goes, "What about we get some uh, Instagram influencers yeah. to make this?" And I go, "Sure." <laughs> and he goes, "I know this guy called Gauta." Yeah, and that uh, was the first paid uh, was it? ever. Was like, that the first the paid one? Ah. That, that was shit. I get like I don't know, remember how much it was, Dude, but uh, like yeah. down in Mexico yeah, that was a lot yeah, that was a bunch <laughs> yeah. cuz i and and I, that, that's when i heard about you yeah. and i was like oh shit yeah it, cool. wh- what is he gives a dude he's just this funny guy and i go fuck it let's go for it <laughs> and then i think it was a a campaign to get people to sign up for yeah, the show it was, yeah yeah and you killed it yeah that was nice i remember that yeah yeah, In the, yeah i like yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, and that that show, man, it was, uh, I think it was a success. You know, we made the show. I didn't uh, see the show, but I, I've actually... Uh, Did we shot it out here. We turned this whole space yeah. into a fucking yeah, restaurant. I, had, I think I had a friend who was, uh, was one of the contestants. Yeah, probably. We had yeah. a lot of contestants. Okay, cool. Yeah. So but are you getting you any... Could choose the cash or the date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of people chose the cash. Yeah, you I know, would have too. A yeah. Lot, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of the chicks were like, yeah, they ended up double-crossing the dudes. Yeah. So they like make this guy think that, yeah, let's split the money. <laughs> nah, I'm taking <laughs> yeah. all of it. Fuck you. That's a cool idea though. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. We only did one season though for some reason. <laughs> I think they fucked it up when they put the show on. You know, it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't TV Tre. Yeah, no, it was. It was it was on like Via Play, but they man, it wasn't like the beginning of like T V season. I think they like launched it in like November or something. Oh, okay. So it was sort of like people were like getting ready for Christmas and it was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. So the views weren't stellar. <laughs> so we only got one season unfortunately. And then, you know, it was the yeah. pandemic afterwards anyway. Ah yeah, that's out. right. So yeah. it, it aired in twenty at the end of twenty nineteen. Yeah. And then in twenty twenty it was like, Yeah, not not happening. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> you doing any spots uh, this week? Any spots? I'm going, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, Shane tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going back to my hometown. Never st- uh, stood there. So my dad is going to be seeing me for the first time. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, quite a thing. Is that, so, uh, that Galta show there? No, <coughs> it's just a uh, stand up. Yeah. Yeah. It's my cousin, actually, uh, who is uh, like the. I don't know, a uh, producer <laughs> behind yeah. the show. Uh, he, so he's yeah. organizing so it. So it's me, uh, Marco, yeah. and uh, Liban, yeah. and uh, Alf Rune. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and I think Bastiansen's w- Alexander was going, but he couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, so that was going to be fun. A lot of, hopefully a lot of com- uh, buddies from Shane comes. And yeah. then Lillehammer the day after. Oh, yeah, there's the Lillehammer Festival. Or yeah, it's a comedy Fjol festival. festival. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So uh Shen Lilamer, that's the that's the yeah, I've only been in Bergen outside Oslo. Yeah. So uh, it's nice to uh, just do stand up in another place. Wow. And I have family just north of uh, Lilamer as well. So I'm going to visit my grandpa after the show. Oh that's nice. Yeah. So it's you be a good you've only done stand up in Oslo and yeah. in Bergen and now in like two days you're gonna start going to Sheen and yeah. then Lilyhammer. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it is good performing in other venues. Yeah, it's it so, is. Nice. So yeah, fun. I love being in Bergen, man. Yeah, uh, that's beautiful. But uh, I haven't really like uh, want to go to like ah, oh, you want to go to Moss and get five hundred kroners to stand do stand up. I like nah, <laughs> I don't want that. No. Nah, yeah. I uh, like it just uh, taking a boy off to look as well as just uh, drink a couple of beers. Yeah. Yeah. But I, if I travel with someone, it's it's so much fun. Yeah. But I'm never thinking about going alone and just like give me the 
nah. some local comedians. Yeah. So if you ever get the if you ever get the desire, the I did the show in Christian Sand. Uh, a month ago, that was sick. Yeah, yeah. Because in Sunday I wouldn't want to go to as well because I have uh, yeah some friends there. Yeah, I uh, lived there. For th- that's a, a years. that's a fun one. If you like, you know, I want to do that, but I, now I'm a bit too tired to do it. Yeah, I, I get the, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the transplant. Sick. Yeah. Dude, are you scared? Ab- are you scared about the transplant? Uh, no, I'm not scared. Like I think I've uh, I've known it for uh, like eight months now. It's gonna be this uh, at the end of the year yeah. or uh, start of the next year. So I've yeah. gotten really like comfortable with it yeah uh yeah i but think i'm i was in a b- darker place like uh, some months ago yeah because i was yeah, not scared but like okay this is fucked up i'm gonna be uh, sick and all that uh is it a i feel uh i feel uh, pretty confident now. Yeah. yeah you have to do it right yeah like it's something that you don't really have a choice yeah yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah. Get it done. Uh, so I'm, I'm i'm actually like pretty I'm pretty lucky because my dad can give me kidney. Yeah. And I don't want to go to the, like the dialysis. Yeah. I don't know if you like. Uh, yeah, my grandma had that. Yeah, I mean, my, it's uh, quite possible I have to, but maybe for a couple of months only. Yeah. And you know, have to like yeah clean your blood uh, through a machine and stuff, and that's not too cool when you're going to go around traveling. Nah. Is that how it works? The blood goes out of your body into a machine. Yeah, and it, and then cleans, it, it, it cleans it. Oh, because yeah. the liver. Or the kidney the isn't kidneys, uh, it's cleaning a, it as yeah, it's well. Yeah, cleaning uh, process. There. Oh, so you're like outsourcing the work of the kidney to the dialysis machine. Yeah. <sighs> so you need to. Be so the blood goes out of your body. And yeah, it gets I think so. Cleaned yeah, through the machine, then I uh, need to have like a machine by the bed yeah, with some yeah. water, who yeah. rinse and fills up my body. It's a pretty like, it's pretty like for. a guy who hasn't had that on his mind ever yeah. i think it's like it sounds pretty big yeah but i i'm uh yeah i'm pretty like uh comfortable with it dude i think i need to yeah. clean my blood <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out but, of all uh, the chlamydia and herpes everyone asks me always <laughs> <laughs> yeah as like uh oh you can but you can drink i see you drink it's like yeah that's the liver you Fuck not, fucking yeah. dumb fuck. Yeah, learn about the human yeah, body. Fucking, <laughs> but Google, no, n- nobody knows yeah. shit about no, anything. I know. It's like we got all this stuff. What does it do? Yeah, by heart, <laughs> just pumps blood, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just a kid expert now. Now, so uh, now, but I'm I'm really excited to just get it done. If I could get it done tomorrow, I would have done it tomorrow. You know. Yeah. Just to get, I know that I um. They say the biggest difference is in your mind actually after because mm. you're it goes uh yeah it's uh i'm tired man <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah much more than before i had a lot of uh energy I just l- went like to my friend to my girlfriend out waking up in the morning do this da, da, da. now i'm just like okay i'm i want to do one show 10 minutes yeah go home chill yeah yeah, so I'm uh, excited to get some uh, more powers back. Yeah, and do a lot of more shows. Of course, yeah. of course. Like once you lose that vitality, yeah, it, there's just a a cap on the amount of things you can do. Yeah. So once you get that back, it's like, all right, now we're doing more. I know. Shit. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good to doing the best out of my situation because I yeah, do like sure. the best. The only thing that I want, and and of course that I live with my girlfriend mm. is super nice. Yeah. I think I've been pretty lonely. Yeah. Just, uh, oh, so without could you imagine her. Imagine going through yeah, that would be by yourself. Yeah, Ugh. so and I'm lucky there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but listen, man, if you had to fucking get get this done anywhere, like Norway yeah. is the country, and that it's your absolutely, dad's, dude. Your dad's we won the lottery. Yeah, yeah. I think about that all the time, man. Yeah, you know I do I mean? as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it, I did, it, like you, it never gets lost on me yeah. how lucky we are to live in Norway. I listened to this one Fugli, uh, you know, the guy like a philosopher died couple of years ago hmm. had like his last uh, uh, his last uh, words to the people like okay you're born in Norway now hmm. you're like you're the luckiest guy ever to exist yeah. like you, you have these uh, not in that like shut the fuck up you the you have it easy but yeah. like yeah uh, take it to you and uh, and and yeah and think wha- about it yeah, it, it, it's important to understand that because what it also means is opportunity. Yeah. Because you're not like struggling to I get to chase trying to be on TV because I, I wanted <laughs> that when I was little. I, like, yeah. I, I'm super lucky, man. Yeah. yeah. So uh, 
yeah, yeah, nah, man. Like, you know, I, I ended up in Norway because I, you know, I got a kid here. Yeah. Right? You know, I bang some hottie. Got a <laughs> right. And uh, I just keep thinking, like, I could have banged some hottie in fucking Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I could have banged true, some yeah. Ukrainian hottie. And then would I have been stuck there? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I probably would have. I mean, I don't think I would, like, abandon the kid no matter where no, the country okay, was. Yeah. It's nice to hear you. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, <laughs> listen, I'm just saying that because of the podcast. But if I had some <laughs> fucking Mexican kid, fuck that kid. Um, no, nah, but, uh, uh, you know, but, but, like, when I'm, you know, like, w- when I can say, okay, fuck it. You know, like you live in this country where, you know, even as a foreigner, like as an immigrant, I can still do a shit ton of fucking stand up comedy yeah. in English if I want. I can still do a fucking podcast. I can still make videos. I mm-hmm. can still fucking do whatever. You know what I mean? And a lot of people just don't really have that opportunity it's because the society is structured in such yeah. a way that you have to grind, 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 grind. Know, minimum know. wage, minimum wage. No feria penga. Uh, no summer feria. Uh, just work. Uh, no insurance. Uh, fuck you. Uh, no, you, you broke your arm. A million dollars. You're like, uh, what are you guys doing? crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I, I know so many people as well that study, like, all of these fucking obscure things that are not going to lead to any work at all. I was like, yeah, it's cool. No, the cost, uh, yeah. yeah, they're all the same. Ha- yeah, but I, that's, yeah, as well. Um, people, friends, who oh, is complaining. Like, oh, shit, da, 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 da. And, yeah. uh, as, and that's also the stuff with the, uh, with the, doing, uh, doing some, uh, uh, ketamine. Mm. You get that? Okay, you get the sense of how lucky you are as well, dude. Especially like, you yeah, you know, there's a kid just like with a dry mouth, yeah, dying right now, yeah, like oh. just a couple of uh, hours with the flight. Yeah, have you yeah. Ever, have you ever been stuck in a K hole? Ah, no, I haven't. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not stuck in Peru in Cusco. I was in a cave. How is that? Yeah, I want to. It's a <laughs> nightmare. It's like being in a fucking saw movie. I've only movie. had positive experiences oh, with yeah. everything. So I, I, yeah, don't listen to me if you're having a fucking bad time. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, I was just like catatonic. We were at a fucking pub, just fucking racking lines of K, <laughs> and like, I was moshing to Rage Against the Machine in this yeah. fucking Peruvian black metal club. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I was just like, I can't feel shit. And then I just fucking like had to sit down like that. And I was like, fucking, uh, <laughs> like locked in, you know, like these people that are kind of like, they can't move their bodies Oof. and their mind is active. But then my mind just wasn't active. And it was just like, I was lost inside of an infinite <laughs> fucking black hole. And then like, they kicked me out. They, they do. And I, I, I didn't know where any of my friends were. Yeah. And then they just put what me in the a, fuck did do that? They just put me in a taxi. And then the, I was just like, Ugh. and then the taxi driver went through my pockets and found my key and then drove me to the hostel, <laughs> carried me out, put me on the sidewalk. And I was on the sidewalk for hours until my friends came back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, not fun. Uh, no, not fun at all. Mm-mm. No, we went too deep with the K, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. do that. No, don't do that. I got tricked once when I was like super hangover, and I was with a bunch of idiots, and, uh, and there was two lines on the table. Mm. It's like, yeah, I do want one, and I was like, uh, yeah, that couldn't hurt because I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm super hang. I was, it was coke though. Yeah, I was. Thought I, I thought, yeah. And after I did it, it's like, oh, I burned my nose. But like, what the fuck? The no, it was ketamine. Oh so shit! I, uh, I was <laughs> ironic. <laughs> she said uh, it was ironic. It can't be that. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh. then I, uh, yeah, walked around uh, in the city at like two o'clock in K. Yeah, ketamine. Dude. Yeah, dude. There's a there's there's a there's a lot of drugs in Norway, man. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, but there's more drugs in Sydney. Like however many, yeah, ha- uh, however uh, much drugs, so. dude. Uh. I, I'm friends with people in Sydney, and we used to take pills on the weekend. We take ecstasy on the weekend, right? Oh, I'll take two pills on Friday. Woo, two, two, three pills on Saturday. Woo, uh. let's take a pill at the day club on Sunday. All right, it's like fucking five or six. That's pills. crazy, it's too man. Much, but that's yeah. the culture. That's it's, the culture. I've, yeah, it's that's like the once every other month uh-huh. they no, might do something no, no, no. like that's that. That's how yeah. normal it was, man. Oh, you would shit. be taking so many fucking pills of ecstasy, and any and now sounds exhausting. Twenty years later, they're still doing it. 
Yeah. Yeah, dude. How do you watch happen with your head then? Oh. Because I like have dude. friends so done uh, just a bit too much. Yeah, fucking yeah. stupid yeah, after you, a while. Your brain breaks, dude. <laughs> like it, yeah, it, it does. It reduces yeah. your IQ. You can't think properly. Yeah. You're emotionally unstable. You can't hold down yeah, a relationship. Yeah. You can't hold down a job oh, properly. Absolutely. You can't even focus. You can't fucking read a book. You're like, well, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, so, <laughs> it's a bunch of cunts are hit in the deep end. Do it man. every once in a while. That's healthy. But uh, don't do it every day, no? Nah, man. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the rule for everything, almost. Do, you know what, yeah. man? You know what? The I don't r- think smoking every day is smart as well. No. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. You can't, I you did that for a while, like yeah. a couple of years back, but. You need to. You yeah, need. You, think you, you need to. You, you, you feel like you need to be yourself sometimes as well. Yeah. You, know? you need to be drug yeah, free. I, yeah. I have more uh, energy yeah. when I like people can say, "Ah, oh, I use that to be creative and all that stuff." But I don't think that's the. Not for me as well, at least. No. No, I get absolutely most like the. Uh, gira, like uh, powered up and mm. uh, yeah. Yeah, man. You know what? When I'm in the best state, like the best flow state for f- creativity yeah. and for realizing my potential, it's really when I'm going to bed early, when I'm getting like eight hours sleep, when I'm going to the sauna, when I'm mm. doing yoga, when I'm doing weights, when I'm dedicating an hour every day to writing, when I'm going to do a spot, when I don't. You drink do too that. Much. Not all the time. No, that's smart. Yeah, I like that. I yeah. Like, uh, yeah. But it's it's you got to get into the groove. You got to find that yeah. routine that works for you. You know what I mean? And I had a good routine where I'd wake up at you know six thirty in the morning. I'd do yoga from seven to eight, or I'd do weights from seven to eight. Crazy man, dude. But <laughs> it makes such a difference, and it incru- it, it, it in, improves your ability to do everything. Yeah. Because if your body is functioning at an optimal level because you're reducing tension in your back by stretching mm-hmm. or if you're exercising your body through weights, then it's releasing all of these rewarding endorphins that is going to be like steroids for your creativity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if you, if you think of like people who are like uh, really unhealthy and like they're super overweight or they fucking walk with a limp because they, your joints don't work. I mean, come on. Yeah. You know, like how is your brain going to be like able to just fly into the creative realm when you're so focused on like how fucking bad your knee hurts? Yeah. I agree. But so you should do you yeah. ever do any yoga? No, but I, uh, that's one thing I like want to do. I like stretching. I want uh, <laughs> it's not yoga, but I uh, sometimes by myself I just like to stretch out. I feel like it's really good for me. Yeah. It's the best. It's like yeah. Yeah, I th- I think I mean <sighs> My yoga place closed down because they couldn't afford they couldn't afford the strum. Oh, yeah. The electricity was too expensive. It was a hot yoga place, right? So, oh yeah, dude, they're, they're lowering expensive. they're Fuck. lowering the temperatures in uh-huh. kindergartens and schools because they can't afford to pay the heat. So you go into a yoga place that's like doing hot yoga where they're fucking cranking up the heater. Hmm. They can't afford to do no. that shit, man. Even like the saunas now, at yeah, like the training uh, centers, the they've, they've turned them off. Yeah, you can't go to your training center and hit the sauna anymore. No, we've cut it off because of the electricity hmm. prices. But uh, when I when I yeah, man, like just uh, being able to like stretch out, and yeah. move in the heat. I I wanna, be, yeah, that's that's something that sounds uh, really nice. You know what we should do? Yoga. We yeah. should go to the sauna. Yeah, yeah. You ever go to the sauna? I did. Uh, before when i uh, yeah yeah like but n- not in a long time dude let's go yeah yeah for it's, sure dude, that is pretty nice it's fun yeah. as fuck man you just hang out in the sauna jump in the water yeah go back in where do you go at uh oslo bards do a fanning okay you been there at no. sukabitten no uh-huh. we'll go okay yeah, 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 we'll nice. go. yeah. whenever we'll, we'll just go down for like it's a 90 minute session yeah so you go down you just fucking relax Okay. It's so yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. Yeah, and at the end of it, you just feel like, oh. Wow. I did a show in the sauna. Oh, at <laughs> Salt. Yeah, at Salt. Yeah. Me and my, me, that was the first live show I ever did, uh, comedy before uh, the stand up and stuff. I ah. think, yeah, I think so. If my cousin uh, Magnus, yeah, okay, who did the um, stand up before me, and it was, uh, yeah, he's he's very funny. Yeah, very yeah okay. Good. Was it, it was it in the big pyramid with the. Uh, yeah, but it was with the ovens and stuff. Yeah, we had yeah. some tweed uh, dresses, <laughs> <laughs> like some suits from yeah. uh, Fretex that we bought. 
like super hot and oh, okay shit this is sauna yeah <laughs> we we're pretending that we didn't know and we had uh, <laughs> like a show about uh, shit nice on, uh, yeah and like a powerpoint that was super fun yeah no, yeah. it's it's fun man yeah uh, I, look the sauna is amazing and if you can yeah if you can get to it regularly it's fucking mm. like a game changer yeah yeah i did it like every day like four days a week when i went to school uh, in oh, th- uh oh, for the, three years this the go- for golf yeah because yeah. then we exercised at uh, the like uh yeah training center yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then we went to sauna afterwards. You know boys. what I'm you know what I'm gonna do, man? I'm gonna I'm gonna see whether I can book a sauna. Like just rent out the whole sauna. Yeah. And then I'll invite you and then like a bunch of other people that were on the podcast. And then we'll just go I mean there's mostly comedians. Yeah. So we'll just go down and fucking hang out. Yeah. I'll do would, it. Yeah, I'll do, do it. that. Right? Yeah. That sounds fun. I'll I'll see if I can figure it out for like yeah. a, a Sunday night or something. <laughs> a night where there's not too much going on. Mm-hmm. Huh. Shit. Sweet. Dude, I think we're going to fucking wrap it up. Yeah. You got anything else uh, you want to say about anything? Uh, no, nah, I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't uh, have anything. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll put you on the spot. <laughs> just feel that uh, I just saw a crazy case uh, from crazy case uh, from uh, Thailand. Yeah. Of a guy going desperado with a knife in a kindergarten, no. like a daycare home, really? killing 34 Holy 24 shit. 24 children between the ages of two and six. Damn. With a knife and a gun. Holy shit. Yeah. So he uh, just fucking went into a kindergarten and did damage. Then shot himself, I think, in the end. And oh, just like fuck. that crime scene. I got some. I didn't see the photo, f- of course. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So that's why you need to arm kindergarten teachers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or kindergartners. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> yeah. right? Kindergartians. <laughs> they got, you got to arm yeah. them. Yeah. You know, if you have like a good, you know, a good two point yeah. second draw to first shot, if you train them from a young age. It's fucking crazy. I've been really into that in lately, like not into it, but like watching uh, like school shootings, war and all that, like the dark stuff. You say, man. Yeah. Fucking crazy. What have you been, what have you been watching? I've been uh, just like researching and, and like school shooting. I thought it was 41 school shootings before February and... 20 like 2016 or something i don't remember like but it was some crazy lot. numbers yeah that I, yeah because i had a one joke lately i was like i, uh, I want to go to usa and do school shooting just shoot one kid yeah like the eggless person in the, in the <laughs> class <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it is funny when you end up doing a premise about something or yeah. a joke you, then you got to do some googling yeah and then you google it you go oh my god is it really like this yeah. holy fuck that's crazy yeah, I th- I find it interesting. Yeah, I don't like it. Like, no, of uh, I'm not. not a fucking psycho. Like, we watch the crime scene photos and all that stuff. And, no, uh, I don't watch. Uh, I had a buddy of mine was the Christchurch uh, shooting yeah. video twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, why do you watch it twice? Yeah. <laughs> why, why do you have to gain to watch the other? Uh, yeah, I, I don't I, watch that shit. I, but, I, yeah. I, I watched it. How I do w- you did that? I watch it. Oh shit. Yeah, but you know yeah. what, man? I I, I, I can't. I I that shit sticks to my brain and i like yeah i I have a really dark sense of humor but because i think it's so crazy no it's it's fucked up you know one of the reason i watch things like that and first of all like i follow a channel on youtube called active self-protection okay and what it is is it's video based self-defense training okay and what it does is it shows uh, a crime that's happened and then it breaks it down where you can learn indicators how to stay yeah. safe in environments like that and then a lot of the times it's say for example somebody rubbing in running into a shop mm-hmm. and then like holding everybody up and then it's like either the guy will just take everything and leave or he'll take everything and then shoot the person there anyway or the person behind the counter will defend themselves and then if they defend themselves successfully he goes okay this is what they did correctly but a lot of the times they don't defend yeah. themselves correctly and they end up getting murdered. Yeah. And then he goes, and the number one rule is to all these videos, either you comply fully and do everything they ask. Mm. And ev- that's your strategy. Just do everything 100% or you resist 100%. Yeah. And then if you resist 100%, yeah. what skills do you need? What do you need to do? Yeah. What do you look out for? But in, in that channel, the active self-protection channel, 
he goes through fucking massacre videos. Yeah. He goes okay. through like all kinds of shit and he breaks it down. He goes, yeah. now he's walking into the store. Now this person has two yeah, seconds to like get a, away. The hostage situations and stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah. So uh, from Australia, Oh, that was in the, the uh, in the cafe. Yeah. We had like 18, 18 uh, yeah. hostages and one of the hostages got killed by the police when I tried to kill the guy. Yeah. Fired away. Yeah, that was yeah, crazy, yeah. crazy. Uh, it was an Amazon uh, crazy yeah. documentary. Yeah, and I was I want to do a sketch in in that uh, <laughs> sort of thing <laughs> where you know when there's an active school shooter, this yeah. is what you're gonna do. Yeah, and you're gonna be like the coolest guy ever. You're gonna try to sneak behind him and uh, like yeah, have a fucking, fucking stupid reason. Yeah, yeah, and just. Uh, <laughs> dude, uh, you just reminded me of the second show that I want to make. Yeah. Okay. So first, the first one is the like you know actors for hire, actors for real, whatever. And the second one is a, a show where I want to improve my life. Yeah. And I'm gonna instead of hiring people who are experts in the field, which I've done in the past and it hasn't been successful, I'm gonna hire the worst people in that field but they know all of the <laughs> shit. So I'm going to hire like an incel to like teach me how to be a better data or I'm going to hire like the, you know, the most unprofessional, unhirable fucking loser or the fattest guy to train me, you know? And then, <laughs> and then just like go through yeah, situation. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it then is. it's just, you know, cause you, cause the, ironically, I have friends like this who always give advice about something that they are terrible at yeah but the shit that they say is true yeah, like, yeah, yeah. i have a friend <laughs> who is hideously overweight and he always gives me nutrition advice and <laughs> i know what he's saying is a hundred percent correct he just can't make it work for him yeah. so the premise is like i'll be the guy that you want to give all the advice to but you can't make work yourself yeah yeah so that that's another comedy show that i think i, nice. I, I would enjoy doing something like that <laughs> yeah yeah Good. Huh. Nice. All right. Well, we fucking we did it, Galta. We did it. We did it. We did. Hey, thank you so much for being a guest. And, thank you. And, and one thing I also want to say is this is actually, even though I've known you for years, this is the first time we've ever had a conversation in English. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. no, not, no, yeah. Normally we're going through, uh, we're talking in Norwegian, and I never, yeah. I never feel I, like I, I'm I feel like keeping I, up I with you. I speak one, I speak one sentence to you in English, and then I like, ah, oh, fuck it, now I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand the way to that. I get speak, it. Yeah. yeah, but a lot but of I times, like this is good, really good training for me, yeah. dude. It yeah. is. <laughs> Idiot James podcast English training. Yeah, dude. Thank you for being a guest. I've enjoyed our talk. Thank you so much. All right, see you later, boys and girls. Mwah. <laughs>